<laughs> oh, that's good. You know, you know the way sometimes. You know, you know the way sometimes we're always saying like, wouldn't it be funny like to just go live and not tell anybody? Wouldn't that be hilarious? That we are be, live, especially if I was doing my Irish accent. Still, yeah, I so. know. Um, in, and in saying that, I'm going to put the volume up in the speakers a little bit because I can't hear Greg. <laughs> but now I hear an echo. So maybe I'll put that down. So yes, anyway, we're live. We're just chatting away to each other like idiots. And um, hello, everybody. It's Thursday. We are waiting on Jack, and I have an echo, which is really annoying. So forget about that. How is everybody? How are you, Greg? I'm very well. I'm very well. I'm very well, sir. <laughs> I try to do some sort of barking Irish accent, uh, and it's not really working too well, folks. I'm, uh, I need to work. Uh, I need to work on that a little bit. Maybe, maybe I'll come back to it next week. Uh, maybe as the year goes on, that could be my little project to do for the year side. Work on my Irish accent, you little carker. I could do the slightly carker. camp one where hello, my name's Sal Connor, <laughs> right? <laughs> or uh, I could do like a more, um, I don't know, a more barky sort of one. Hello, it's Sal Connor here. <laughs> Or maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to offend too many people. Uh, I agree. I think, you've, I think you've done your work. <laughs> I, I remember when I first met Sai, and uh, we used to say, there was something in particular we used to say, and he used to say, yeah, I love Greg, even though he's uh, oh so slightly racist against me, uh, but I still love him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you is for the right? water ring. It is. is, is, is Oh, there we go. Now, there's a story behind why he's just been given this water. So, Sai earlier on decides it's hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. And uh, what he does is, oh, look, his stream yards is still there. And he That's goes, uh, so what did he do? He went and put, uh, like you do, uh, some water in the fridge freezer. Uh, the only problem is, I guess you must have forgotten it was even in there. And then he pulled it out. And what's it look like, Sai? Just a block of ice. I sent it back to the kitchen. Oh, he sent it back. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Well, probably, it's about 10 minutes, it will turn back to water again. I know, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I don't know why I have an echo with you and myself. The mic is over there. Is that any better? Mm -hmm. Or is that any better? Yeah, is that's any fine. Better? <laughs> what you want, okay. you want the mic to be furthest away from your speakers, right? Over, over there, then. Yeah, I, I can't hear that. I can't hear the echo. Can anyone else out there hear the echo? And how the devil are you all as well? We're just sitting, we're just talking away here, like exactly. No exactly. So, we're basically, we're waiting for Jack. Jack is running late, um, and hopefully, he'll be here. Uh, he's busy, but basically, on Thursdays, what Brick Vault do is they get um, all their mock stuff ready for Friday. So, um, if it, if it, if it yeah, so no, I, I knew that anyway because he did tell me so he, he'd only be here for an hour or so. So, if he doesn't turn up, obviously, something has cropped up, and that's fine. Um, and please, whatever you do, everybody out there, do not adjust your TV. This is not the backlog. This is the Thursday stream. Um, I might actually rename it as well. Um, well there's a good poll um, question I'll put in there. So let's uh, say... <laughs> he's just coming to his head. Oh, I, I need to do a poll. <laughs> this is me every day. I'm like a chihuahua. Lorraine's like, Jesus, what's wrong? I had an idea. <laughs> Uh, Bricks with Justin is out there. Lorraine is out there. Uh, Solo Brick Builders out there. Solo, I sent you a link if you want to join us. Um, I know it's very hot, and I think he has just said er earlier on that he's got about six fans running in the apartment, <laughs> which is like crazy. We have Simon is here uh, saying ahoy hoy. Um, we have Mark is here. Hey, Mark, how are you? How's it going? And uh, Mark says, hey, all. Hope everyone is good. We are. We're melting. And thanks to the donations last night the super chats i put some of that money towards buying a fan so if you hear a small light aircraft in the background it's just the fan it's brilliant it's like there's no sweat and i don't have to take off my t-shirt yeah <laughs> believe me folks it's a sight to behold it really is yes yes <laughs> greg saw my nipple one day uh hey bricks toys jazz <laughs> <laughs> um, good to see Jazz out there FLX is out there as well Saying am I the only one that isn't hot At the moment it's cooled down uh, A lot yeah. it has cooled down a good bit yeah. um, It has massively I think it's about 3 degrees cooler than yesterday I really do yeah. There's a haze oh. out there which has stopped it And I have a fan on and it's great I went into um, I, yeah, I don't think you have Harvey Norman in the UK Do you? Do you have Harvey Norman? No, Harvey it's Norman good what, 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 what's all that about? What, who is Harvey Norman? What does he Harvey do? What sort of shop is it, Sire? It is an Australian electronics shop. 
so they're, really? huge, they're huge in Australia, huge in the Republic of Ireland. Ooh. And um, I think they've one or two in Northern Ireland. Anybody from the north out there, let me know. But um, they're re really nice stuff. And I went in and I saw on the door, Dyson fans now available. And I was like, would you ever get lost? So I went in, went over to the Dysons just to cool down, really. And I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. And the, the <laughs> <laughs> the, lady, so the, lady, the lady came over and said, um, can I give you a hand? I said, no, I was going to ask you if you have any fans, but I know you don't. She says, oh, no, I do. I've got these two. And I thought to myself, yeah, very funny, 300 and 500 euros. And she said, and I have these ones. She had a desktop 29 or 30 euro uh, fans. I was like, yeah. what? I said, I'll take two, please. So yeah. my one that I had up here first is a bit janky. It sounded like somebody was getting shot. Boop, 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 boop. And <laughs> so I swapped that with Lorraine's one. <laughs> yeah, so Lorraine gets the dodgy one. She has the dodgy one, yeah. Um, Mark says, didn't we vote for shirt off Lorraine Fox O'Connor? What? Oh, her, me, me, not her. That's okay. Um, yeah, I can't, I didn't get to see the results of that poll. So the results are lost forever. Oh, it's void. They're, lost, they're lost forever. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's void. We'll never know what's underneath yeah. that beautiful, manly. XXXL t shirt of his. We really <laughs> won't. <laughs> I, I, tell you what, you, yeah, I tell you what, you should wear in this weather that one that you got from Hyatt. That's huge. Yeah, I, I was looking at I said to myself, what's that red one? It really looks really new and it was the hype one. Um yeah. so yeah, <laughs> um, the FLX is making me, me making me um, a little bit shy now. Um 50, 50 no, no, that's, that's a a nip slip. <laughs> oh a nip god. Slip. I like that. That's a, but, that's, a, an, that's a thing, is it? Nip slip. If you take one thing away from tonight's stream, folks, nip slips. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it. we need to put the coins to the side. Um, but I, I have, I broke out the flip flops. I don't normally wear flip flops on you if it's really hot. And Nullick has rarely seen me in flip flops. So I went downstairs and he was like, like literally from the meme, what are yeah. those? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do flip flops, honestly. They just come off my feet all the time. I nearly broke my neck a few minutes ago. I fell over that. I was like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can't, honestly, I can't do them. They just, I walk so slow in them. I just rather take them off. Look at him, look, he's like a fish. That is a desperate man that needs a drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, what have you been so up to other than buying fans today? Yeah, hang on a second. I'm just reading an email here. Yeah. Um, that is sent. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. See you soon. Uh, so, yeah, a reply is from Jack. Awesome. See you soon. I hope Jack no realizes that it's 8 p.m. Yeah, and he told him. He said, see you yeah. soon. He said to him, we're live now, Jack. <laughs> so I goes to me before the stream started. Jack, if you're watching from Brick Vault, we're on. We're live. Come on, hurry up. Um, it, so I says to me, bearing in mind the stream was already about five minutes late from starting, he goes, uh, I think Jack's gonna be late. <laughs> I'm like, he's late. <laughs> I'm being diplomatic. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> These things happen, folks. Honestly, the amount of times I tell people because obviously get people on from all over the world on London calling, and I say, I tell them what the EST time is, and uh, and they still say, they still they, they get. They get confused between their own time zone and the EST. And I'm like, but it's your time zone. It's an American time zone. Can I hold me a chance? Um, I've got so used to that. Every time I think GMT time, I just minus five hours off now. Do you, say? I, I, I wasn't listening to what you're saying. I was, I was like reading what Mark said. Um, say it again. He can't, he, can you not read and listen at the same time? God, no, I'm a man. He said, like, his ears close off when I'm talking. <laughs> uh, it's like he hazes over his eyes. No, I was just saying that sometimes... Oh, I say sometimes I do it all the time. Americans will be on uh, London calling and they'll say, oh, I'm sorry, I got confused. I didn't know what the time was. I'm like, I put EST time in it for you. Uh, they're like, yeah, I got confused with EST time. I'm like, really? <laughs> what, what can I say? Um, but yeah, it's good fun though. Um, Solo Brick Builder, he says, I saw it was 70% show off. Yeah, I think I remember it being around that. Oh, he's on mute. Hello. 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 I was, Where are you? I was saying, speaking of Solo Brick Builder, here's Solo Brick Builder, but I didn't realize <laughs> it was muting itself. Hey, Solo. Hello. He's out on the balcony. This is like last year's Solo. 
It's, yeah, it is. Something like that, isn't it? <laughs> Are you out on your balcony? That looks a bit different, that one. No, no, definitely out on the balcony. Yeah, yeah definitely oh. on the balcony. There you go, there you go. Uh, oh yeah, that's it. That's a really nice. I like. I like your. Uh, cause that, is that like a park over there or common or something on uh, the left? Uh, hand? This is protected woodlands all around it. So this, yeah, is all nice. wood, this is all woodlands, and then yeah, then my local towns over there. So uh, oh, nice. I don't. I, yeah, I, I like. I don't remember seeing the um, lantern there from last year. Yeah, uh, no. Nice. Cause I've, yeah, I've, we're always moving stuff around. Just probably put these up to make it look pretty for the house selling and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'll take it with you. Make sure you take it with all your fixtures oh. and things. Do you know, yeah. I I thought you were in a kind of a, a log cabin because I thought they were picture frames until Greg said you're outside. Because you can see the reflections of trees and stuff. I was like, they're nice pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit on there. <laughs> it looks good, man. It looks good. Nice little bit of, uh, uh, what was that? Two by two by one inch or something like that over there. Got a little bit of wood going on. Oh, I, I think it's just decking board, Greg. I think that's all it is. Is that what it's decking board? Oh, I like it. Uh, but yeah, what, what, so what should, we, what should we talk about? Has there been any news this week? Because I, I, we, we've got um, what's got announced this week? We've, we, we, we've got MNR has just done the Boba Fett ship review, gave it quite a decent review, thought that was all right. Um, we've got the we've got some boat that's coming out as a gift we purchase. And we've got, oh, what else is coming out there? I don't think it's Star Wars. Oh, um, Home Alone. Isn't that meant to be coming out in September? Yeah. No, I did see Brick Clickers. Um, I was looking for a video from Brick Clicker about it, but there was nothing. So maybe he got um, banned again. I don't know. Anyway, only joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he on Instagram, um, Brick Clicker said that they it's going to be, I think he said it's going to be 100 dollars or pounds it's mm. going to be smaller than originally planned oh. and um then in the comments a lot of people were saying that it could be just a facade now so it might not open up oh no yeah. oh, i don't want a facade i want it to be like something i can put in a city that's kind of what i was expecting to happen to be honest yeah oh. that's that's what i kind of thought lego was going to do to be fair well i, I hope know. we get a figure i hope we get a figure with this side and oh. solo Oh yeah, I mean, if we don't, if we don't get the just like the at least the three main figures, oh, you got you got the two baddies and the and the main you know protagonist. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll be pissed. I'll be joking. Yeah. Little Kevin, oh, yeah. I just won't buy it. It's, like, what's, yeah. what's, it's just a bloody house, isn't it? Nah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, you know what it is. I bet they put one of those new um, road systems on it as well. Uh, hate them. <laughs> Yeah, well, I I think they're all right. They're just a bit of um, they're just a bit of a yeah, you know, not much, not really. Ah, I don't know. I think they look good, but they're. I I personally think they're just a bit too shiny. Um, a bit too but, not fake, but a bit too. They're, they're not even. Know. They're not even Lego-y. It, the way I I describe them is they're not, they're they're kind of over Lego-y because they're far too shiny, and I think there's far too many kind of. You know, it's obviously Lego, but not in a good way. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Still, I just no. I don't like the. I don't like them. I really yeah, don't. Like them. Yeah, I, I think they're all right. I've bought. They were cheap recently. They were going for like seven pound fifty on Amazon, so I bought a few of those. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. I've been buying a few of as well. I just bought two two new ones today. Um, the Black Series from Star Wars. I can't stop buying. <laughs> Every day I'm buying a new figure. It's ridiculous. I think I've I've reached the maximum now of what I wanted to get. There, there was two that were available years ago. I say years ago, like a few, maybe two or three years ago that I wanted to get. One was um, uh, Moff Tarkin. So I got him. I yeah. wanted to get him because I, I do like the Imperial guys. I really do. Uh, and the other one was oh, Ren, something Ren from Rebels, um, the Mandalorian girl. Serene Ren, Sabine Ren, oh, Sabine Ren, yeah, her, because uh, she looks awesome. She does. She's got like checkered shoulders and stuff like that. Uh, I, I think I'm nearly there now. I think I got I've got Ray, and they really do look like the, the, the actors and actresses as well, and they look amazing. Um, I've got a few from Rogue One, but I think I'm nearly there now. I've got about ten. <laughs> You need to get Echo and Fives as well. You gotta get those two. No, I don't know. I don't know about the bad oh, match. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I like. I, don't get me wrong. I like. I really like the show. Um, but I don't know who my favourite character is in that. 
I, I, I like Pro Fives are X are probably the best Black Series ones I've seen so far. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, they're not actually Bad Batch. What am I talking about? I'm being an idiot. Um, no, they are good. I, th- I might get Cody because Cody seems to be a bit of a, an enigma, that character. Uh, like whenever. Daniel Enigma in Lego World, everywhere else, he's like. <laughs> I know. Why is that? Do you think, right? I think if they'd done Cody and Mace Windu for the gunship. Everyone would have been happy at that. Yeah. Maybe not everybody. Everybody wanted um, Bob. I didn't. I didn't care. I didn't care for Jedi Bob. Like, Who's watching Home and Away? <laughs> a lot know, of people... my, my missus in there. She's she's in there watching some of her rubbish and I'm in here in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I know someone else did that last night as well. I was doing that last night. Did you see it? Sorry, I put it up on the um, on Instagram earlier on on the train. I didn't see it. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at look, look at. I put it in your story. If you have a look, you can edit to your story. It's basically you when no lag was on last night, and I said, "Oh, sorry, I've put." I guess what? I put ice on it now. I put honestly solo. Put some ice in there. It's lovely. It really is. Oh, I have. I, I did, but it's it's all. Let's amazing. have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's see what you got going on in there. So my, daughter, my, my daughter's been adding some features to make it no longer a, a pool anymore. But um, and she, <laughs> it, it was up to say no leg, and she yeah. kind of emptied it most of it. So no, no leg. <laughs> yeah, just, just out of That's curiosity, it. how do you get? A, you're on a balcony. How do you get rid of all the water? A lot of well, we got um. So hang on, let me. It's going to be a lot easier if I switch the camera around. Two seconds. <laughs> I love that story. So, no leg, no leg. <laughs> I tell you what, I wish your dad didn't have any no leg on his uh, on his internet. Sometimes it's a lot better tonight, though. So si. <laughs> well, that's good. Yes, it was disastrous. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, they look good on their um, solo. You got some cool things going on in there. Yeah, we got all sorts of rando stuff. So don't worry, I won't be flooding my downstairs. There is actually a drain that goes down the side and down. Ah, okay, that's cool. There you go. There's a sunset. I'm not blinding everybody. It's no, I'm just going to intro. I'm just going to interrupt here for a sec because we have obviously we have a guest here, but we have a guest in the green room as well. So we're going to bring Jack in. Hey, hey, hello, hello. Hey, we're, going say, we're going to say, you know, like you say hi to Greg first. Yeah. So, and say hi to Jack. Yeah. You don't mean say hi. Mm. Instead of just saying yeah. I say hi to Solo. Yeah. They say goodbye to everybody, and I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah. Go. He was he was <laughs> in for you, Jack. Don't worry about it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um. So, Jack, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. I will give you the introductions. Um. To my side here, we've got Greg from London Bridge Bricks. Hey, Greg. You, Greg. Hi. <laughs> and, Underneath him, we have Darren, solo brick builder. Hello. Yo. So, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. This is cool. It's um, good. It's awesome. I've been wanting to have you on for a while, and I thought to myself, um, I'll hang on for a little while, closer to the summer, and because people are a lot less busy. But you, um, first of all, what we'll do is you tell everybody in the chat watching us um, who you are and what is Brick Vault. Okay. Hi. My name's Jack, um, and I've been doing the channel Brick Vault with my brother since 2015. Um, and it is a Lego hobby channel. Uh, we started off doing reviews. Uh, we do a lot of collection videos, or we've stopped for a while, but we're still active Lego collectors. And recently, in the last few years, um, we've just been doing a ton of custom building. We've been working with custom designers from all over, and we're helping to sort of create instructions and troubleshoot models and make custom designs that you see maybe on the internet, um, floating around different uh, Lego hobbyist forums. Um, sometimes uh, you can check them out and they, they're, they're a little bit easier to build or a little bit easier to follow along in the sometimes very complicated uh, navigation of the custom building infrastructure like BrickLink and other things like that. So yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Now, somebody on the panel actually has uh, bought something from Bricklink, um, if I remember correctly, Greg. 
Oh, sure. Well, yeah, no, I, I've I've bought a few. I've definitely bought a few of your um, uh, PDF files and stuff like that, and oh, they're cool. awesome. They really are. Uh, I think I got uh, some Batman ones. I certainly got some uh, larger Star Wars ones. But back in the day, you did um, a long time ago. This is what kind of got me into it. Um, uh, you, you did. You, you were covering different custom ATATs, and you did one by a guy. I think his name, if I remember this rightly, Sai, he's called Rashnikov or something like that. And Rashnikov. It's a, okay. Rashnikov. That's the one. Rashnikov. And uh, that's that's the ATAT there. If I just do that, it's just sitting above my head. Oh, um, I know. That's the plus size, right? That's it. You got it. Yeah. That's yeah, the, it's yeah, based yeah. on the Lego set, but it's just a lot bigger. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Um, but I, I, I haven't I haven't got round I haven't got round to doing uh, any of the others yet because of <laughs> well, Brexit, really, in all honesty, and some great Lego other great Lego sets that be that there. But no, I, I'm a I'm a big uh, me personally. I've been watching your channel forever. It was like up there with, awesome. when I first joined. It's like basically my, my top three side that I used to watch or well, still do uh, is Jang Ryan from M and R. Uh, and of course, you, you guys as well. So I, I've always, I love your intro. I've always loved the intro. It's like, you know, all that. I just, I just love it. I think it's good. I love the news. So you, you, I think your news probably comes out on Saturday, but we get it on Sunday by the, the time. Sure. Yeah. And uh, and then you do, you do the mocks as well, which is awesome. And um, yeah. And you do the, when you do the reviews and that, we always love the reviews and the speed builds and throwing the boxes and stuff like that yeah yeah right. it was it was fun while it lasted but i mean we had this like very like quick and efficient sort of way of knocking out a lot of reviews quickly mm. um and then we did a move and then some of our regulars weren't around as much and so that's when i started appearing on the channel more and then it was kind of like a tough grind for a couple of years just mm. trying to push out um the review content at the quality that we wanted hmm. and i think after a while we're just like man it's like not as fun building lego sets which is like the worst mentality to have when you're yeah. into the hobby so we found the challenge of doing custom builds um just a lot more interesting and a lot more you could spend more time on something that you're hmm. really really interested in and it's not like we don't buy lego sets and we don't build them we just we just do it for fun now. My brother's got a kid that's getting old enough to start building, and so he's just having fun putting all that stuff together. And we're having fun getting into the weird nitty gritty of like strange little connections and going yeah. back and forth with designers. So those yeah. videos were a lot of fun, though. They yeah, no, I, I used to like them. I, I think I, I think they're a good place for any YouTuber to start. <laughs> with as well you know because i love a speed build anyway i I'm, i've always been a fan of speed builds and and all that kind of stuff and you guys used to do a review and the speed build kind of all in one as well mm -hmm. back in the day and you over the years you can really see how your how your channel has progressed and stuff sure. like that and you guys seem to have a big focus these days on your you know on the brick vault toys and, mm -hmm. and and the actual uh, models that you're doing uh, one of which i can see in the background now i think that's your latest one isn't it yeah it is it is we haven't taken it off the light table yet it's uh <laughs> the corvus and then there's a secret one back there and then uh oh, and then on the other side that's the old gunship on the other side i've oh, actually got like i've actually got david's new yeah. one right here um go oh, on sneak peek sneak peek yeah, I might yeah. maybe do a, a very quick one. There's still technically a few little things that are being tweaked, sort of, but it's basically there. Wow. So, so this is David's. I, I've, I've got a bunch of extra guys on here because. Oh, I love the the the, uh, the gunners on the side. They look amazing. Well, they, I mean, like, David has been working on this, like, like so much. Um, and he's yeah. been really, really, really taking a lot of notes. I don't want to show it off too much. Just because, no, who knows? There's actually um, a uh, German reviewer who's who's already been. He's like friends with David, and he's actually built mm -hmm. one of these, and he's gonna do a review that comes out tomorrow. So uh, it'll be the first that. model where somebody else has reviewed our thing before we've like gone and like really done it. So it's really cool. Um, we're, we're super stoked. And I've got this other model, the tomorrow's model is right next to me as well, but that'll be a, a total surprise. Uh, <laughs> I, I, 
I, I want to ask you about the um the kind of early days. So basically, you guys started off, as far as I remember, in your garage, as we say, or your garage, um, yes. and that was pretty cool. And you're one of the first kind of YouTube channels I saw with you know something like you know boxes behind. And I always remember looking, going, "Oh my God, you're so lucky! I'd love that." Oh my God, and. <laughs> From there, it went like it, you, the heights went on. So you, the channel got so big, and everything got yeah. so big to move out of the garage. So mm. from there, tell us where you ended up, and where you ended up, where you kind of had to where go. Where we are now? Where you are now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah. So it started off with. I mean, the 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 slightly longer story is it started off with me. I'd been out of the states for almost three years and i was getting back into the us and just sort of reorienting myself and my brother he was doing his lego video game channel and we we're both actually me and another brother we're all lego collectors and always buying sets for each other and just like getting mini pigs and stuff and uh charlie had been very deep into the custom building world and so when i was down in la visiting and just sort of crashing at his place actually doing different production jobs he was like, you know what? I've been doing YouTube for a while. We're all into Lego. I've already got my garage dedicated to Lego. Let's start making videos about it. So that's how it started in the garage. And I had a background in some video production as well. So um, we set up the garage. We had it all working out. And it was it was a lot of fun. We had friends that were also into Lego, but also like doing oh, <laughs> acting that's gigs. And stuff. So, hello. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, so what happened is we moved to San Diego and um, we decided to expand from the garage to an actual studio that we rented separate from his house and separate from where I was living. So it was a lot more space to dedicate to it. We brought on some editors, we brought on some other people to help us just with so much of the background stuff, but it turned into um, building a giant city and then we had all these custom builds that we were starting to get more focused on because after you do you know a lego build a day which was essentially what we were trying to do for a couple of years like a new lego set every day almost wow. um it we were, we were starting to kind of get like what like we need to like push it in a way it's it's not interesting to like just build the set and just do the review and like you, you feel like you're kind of on a on a on a treadmill and then we we're like okay like let's let's start getting more into the custom building world we then expanded out into a larger space huge huge warehouse which was awesome and we got to dedicate that to a mat i mean because we were starting to live in our in our in our first studio we were we we're starting to pile everything on top of itself and we're weaving through a very narrow maze of shelves and shelves and shelves full of sets and builds and broken down bins of parts and we're like we literally if we keep doing what we're doing we're just going to be like drowning in bricks <laughs> uh which is don't get me wrong the best problem to have in the world so we expanded out into um, a larger space and that was really cool because then we got to start thinking about like how do we set up like a cool sort of like the ultimate lego space in our minds at least so we got some cool display cases and we started showcasing we're working on what i don't know if we ever tried to figure it out but we we're like maybe this is the world's biggest star wars diorama the yavin diorama that we've been dedicated to for a long time um and it got bigger and it got bigger and it got bigger uh <laughs> and just more stuff um even uh uh Mark, the brick plumber, the guy who's been doing a bunch of big Lego Star Wars dioramas in Vegas. Um, we've met him at several shows over the years. He lent us some of his giant Star Wars displays, like his big Death Star and a few other things that we also had in our back room. And we um, attempted to do a live tour area, sort of like a Lego museum. And we were we set up a Duplo play area in the back and we were, we we're figuring it out. And that's when COVID came, um, yeah. and it was just this perfect storm of, there's a few other little things that also kind of detached at the same time as COVID. And uh, so we were kind of, yeah, it was this big thing where we're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then, um, and then we had to move our, I don't know how many bricks it was, but we packed everything up and we moved to the Pacific Northwest. We're actually now in Washington. 
and we've oh. moved it back into this is this is my brother's house right now. We've moved it back into a studio space. He, we've got some expansion stuff, like some rooms are getting like widened out, and we're we're filling in a, a smaller area, but we're filling in a nice area again, and just kind of having it more contained. So it's back down to it's back down to where where we where we first start. Not in the garage. We're upstairs now, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was it was so sad because I really thought like you know at some stage I'll get to go over mm -hmm. go to the Brick Vault um, Museum and know a lot of YouTubers have had plans to go to um to have a look as far as I, I think M and or 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 Justin one of them was talking about it one time uh, just to oh, go, yeah. saying that they were going to go and have a look um which would have been pretty cool um it would have been great uh, to meet those guys yeah in person That'd yeah be awesome. they've they've been on here and. Um, Another guest we had on at one stage was Mike. Um, Mike has been on. He was a regular here too. And you, you brought in a, a, a lot of people to the channel. Um, there was Ramon, one of my yeah. favorites. The guy yeah, was right. so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ramon was awesome. He was so funny. And uh, you, your wife started to appear now and then as well. Um, sure, yeah. Is, is she still involved in the channel? Um, no. So my, my wife, um, she immigrated from Vietnam. So when she started appearing on the channel was before she was actually legally allowed to work. Cause there's this sort of like waiting period. Right. Um, and so she was like, well, I've got nothing to do. And then Charlie was like, Hey, I designed this tribune tower. You want to build it? And she was like, yeah, okay. You know, so she was, she was getting in on a lot of that action. And it was just because it was like, she was like, I got you know, like, Got to stay busy. Um, she's been, she's very specific about, she likes some of the sets. O only the sets she likes are the ones we have displayed at like our place. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, she's not involved with it anymore. She was running the Instagram for a while. Right. That was her thing. Uh, it was funny. We had set up, I'd set up an Instagram like years ago and I wasn't doing anything with it. Hmm. She was like, I set up a different one and I'm doing stuff with it. So I was like, okay, let's just make your account the official one because <laughs> you you clearly like i've been doing that stuff so um yeah we were bringing a lot of people in we actually i i told ramon i was like hey man like if you want to like uproot your entire life in southern california and come to washington with us <laughs> you could do that and he was like it's been real <laughs> uh no um, um yeah. you had a lot of um you had a lot of kind of features on the channel like live streaming you were doing that a lot yeah um, yeah we were, we were playing around with a lot of formats yeah do you think you'll go back to i know i, I know for everybody the whole world has been up and down and um, do you think you'll go back to live streams at some stage i don't know there's the thing is is things are so open-ended and very what we have basically is we just finished building out a different wider area in the studio which means we now have a little bit more space to play around with how we want future content to be how we want it to look if we might have space to bring on another person again which would be great um because that just opens up the opens up the possibilities i i remember really enjoying live streaming um and at a certain point, it was kind of like when we were, we were pulling some people out, like we we were kind of downsizing because before we left, it wasn't like, hey, everything's up. And then like a big spot, it was kind of, we could see a little bit of like, like okay, we, we, we kind of know which direction I think uh, the future of the, of the downsizing is going to go. So uh, we had to start making priority choices on like the type of content we wanted to, uh, to produce and the stuff that we were always really passionate about was the custom building and the live streaming was something that we really enjoyed but we're like ah there's only so many hours in a day that we can dedicate to uh, what we need to yeah. do so in the future maybe i was thinking maybe like a once a week live stream would be kind of fun just like just uh you know not like a super regular thing um but um part of it too is i feel like for me with this last year, I've been a lot less like directly connected with stuff happening within the community at large. Um, yeah. I'm almost content to just do some building and playing around, you know, I like getting into email spats with designers back and forth about like, no, this part needs to be, if we just change it like this, it'll make it so much, oh, you know, and you go back and forth. Mm. That's the really fun stuff for, for me. And I know my brother. Um, so, 
Maybe, maybe live stream. We don't, we don't honestly know. Um, I want to get, I want to start doing some collection update videos, which is fun, Love but it's that. also very time consuming to do the correct research because I'm always forgetting a fig, and then everybody in the comments is like, they, they're my favorite of all yeah. videos. But, my minifigure collection. I love minifigures. That's how what got me into into Lego. And I know Greg and so Greg and Solo. Solo is not a huge uh, minifigure collector, not as much as, as I would be. But they're my favorite brick vault videos. Minifigure yeah. collection. Every minifigure collection updates. I wouldn't say yeah. I dislike minifigures. Is I, 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 I just prefer the chips. I prefer the yeah. chips. But. Thanks so, like, I the, love a good minifigure. I love a good minifigure. This is, the, new, the new gunship for me. I yeah, there you go. And yeah. check out check out the uh, stand, Jack. Hey, looks uh, familiar. There you go. That's the big ball stand. That's the big yeah. ball stand. Uh, I got the, the slightly cheaper ones of um, using. Uh, oh the yeah. One that you, um, I know that. I know. I know why you made that choice for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I went for white as well because I tell you why I went for white is because at the time I thought I was going to be using. I thought I was going to do like a Hoth diorama or something like that. And I thought, well, if I get white ones, I could always use them for that. But yeah, I make them all the time. So thank you very much for that, Jack. <laughs> you you have my my brother is the one who designed that. So um, I think all I did with that was go in and be like, oh, let's change the length of a couple of plates. So they're not the expensive ones. But I don't know. Bricklink is such an interesting animal nowadays because the yeah. moment you choose the cheaper brick and it becomes people use it a lot and then it's not the cheaper brick anymore. And so it's this fun sort of back and forth like. Yeah, yeah. No, they're really cool stands. They're really cool stands. Oh, thank you. They're really good. And it's Lego as well. I mean, I mean, as much as I like some of these, I think Wicked Bricks are going to start coming out with um, a new stand shortly that, that actually fits into some Ikea shelving, which is a great idea. It is um, a good idea. It's a really good idea. Ultimately, they're quite expensive. And secondly, if I, if it's going to be expensive, you might as well buy Lego, and at least then you've got more Lego. Uh, sure, yeah, more... and you break them down, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So all roads lead to Lego, folks. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, became, you kind of became the face of the channel, Jack. And mm. um, Yes. Is Charlie shy of the camera, or is it just why? Why did he give everybody? I think everybody thought that Brick Falls was was your baby uh, up until like one day. I don't know. You, I think I think it live stream one day, and I remember watching it. And I think it then said that um, it was Jack's channel. Oh yeah, well I mean Charlie. Yeah, it, I would say Charlie for sure. My older brother. Um, he is and always has been like the bigger lego hobbyist of the three brothers there's another brother who's done, does his own thing um so and it started off in his garage and the backdrop and all of that stuff that was his um collection of bricks uh so it was it was basically a partnership it was like hey like you're doing um production We're, you're also into lego and i've got sort of like this setup that we could very easily turn into a studio so it's been a partnership, um, but there are definitely certain aspects of the Lego world that he's he's more involved in, or at least knows a bit more about. He used to run a Bricklink store years and years and years before even the channel started, and no he's like, "Ah, it's not for me." But he knew a lot. You know, he was um, going to shows in uh, Portland for years, um, doing part of the the Portlug for a long time. So I wasn't as involved in the community like he was before the channel started. Um, I was more just building the sets and we had a, a pile of custom, you know, we had a pile of broken down sets that we just used for custom building and things like that, but it wasn't as serious. Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, since the channel started, since everything started, I've become a bit more familiar. <laughs> uh, a bit more involved um, with how just, I don't know, every little aspect of the community. But yeah, it, I think initially the inspiration, a lot of that stuff did come from my brother first, for sure. And I am kind of the face, yeah. And when, when <laughs> I always ask this um, when people come on, when you told like family and friends and stuff that you were going to be doing, that you're into Lego and you have a channel and you know, you're going to try and make this your job, were people like, what, that's the internet, what are you doing? Or were they, yeah, go for it, that's a good idea. It was a combination of both. 
Um, I think maybe a lot of people experience that. So my brother, he, he's been doing the level cap gaming channel for a long time. And he had been doing that, I think for close to five years, once we decided to start the Lego channel. So he had been very much in the YouTube sphere and had been doing just YouTube stuff for quite a long time. And oh, wait, he, he dealt with Lego, uh, level cap. That's, that's, yeah, that's Charlie, my brother. Oh really? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's I've watched him for years. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's literally doing like a level cap video downstairs right now, and that's also part of the reason why he's not the face of this one because he. I mean, it's hard to try to be the face of both, but um, also, I mean, for me doing this long term, it kind of makes sense to have like a. It takes a huge amount off your plate if you're not having to make like face appearances on like both channels which you, i think he's you, you've got a lovely face so that we're, we're happy with your face <laughs> you like my my i've only recently been like going outside the weather is finally nice and things are a little bit eased up i've been going to the river a lot more recently but it's uh yeah it still feels weird like i'm still not totally back into the groove of like shaving a hundred percent all the time. And <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, I know <laughs> getting that. haircuts all the time. The, the beards come and go. When you see, when I watch you over the time, and we go back to an old one, especially if I want to watch something like I don't know, all the Obi Wan Kenobi's that have ever come out and all this sort of thing. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. And we see you with the without beards and stuff like that. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> It's the fluctuation thing. is fun. I don't know. Like I've always been that kind of like I don't know. I just kind of go in and out of I'm like okay. I feel like a haircut probably needs to happen, but uh, I've been kind of shaggy my whole life, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, we, with the as far as the, where the channel's going to, what what's the direction? Where do you want the channel to end up? Uh, kind of being. Well, I mean, the thing is, is we really like. The custom building and i really like going back and forth with designers like that's that's like the pace that we have right now is very enjoyable it doesn't feel like a job a lot of the time it's just kind of getting to build and getting to tweak and i feel like we um we kind of have the best job in a lot of ways in terms of the design process because a lot of people coming to us and they say here's the build and then we get to look at him and say, oh, if you tweak this one thing, you feel like super good about it. You're like, oh, if you just tweak a thing, but you know, uh, we it's the it's the easy, fun, and like you get to be a little bit more creative, and that's always a really I don't know. We as soon as something starts feeling easy or st starts feeling um, I don't know repetitive, um, yeah. it starts to get a little bit boring. So. Yeah, uh, I like kind of going in and out. I kind of wanted, I was thinking about for collection videos, doing maybe a season of just like really going down and doing a bunch of update videos and a bunch of new collection videos. And as soon as that starts to feel like, okay, I've been doing minifigure rotation shots for like a hundred hours, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll shut down the update season. Well, then we'll do something else. So yeah. um, I like, I kind of like the change-ups and the and the playing around. I think very soon we will be able to start adding new content, though. So that that is something that I'm like. That's pretty cool. Ready uh, for when a little while ago there was um, whole big lamb things, so the Lego Ambassador Network, and there were people not happy and people happy and people I'm leaving, I'm not leaving, and then you know Ryan got, Ryan got kind of let go. He was told, you know, you. And it was a shock to everybody. And then um, Justin left. Yeah. So um, what what happened with you guys? So so part of okay. So part of that, I think, and there's there there is like a kind of major aspect of us leaving from San Diego that we haven't made public yet. Right. Um, I don't know. Actually, I should have asked her. I don't even know if it's a thing that we shouldn't talk about. I but should have anything, asked before coming Anything you don't want to talk about, obviously, just you don't have to. But that's fair, and I appreciate that. But uh, I'm just saying that in context of there was a few things that happened um, in conjunction with us leaving from San Diego. And we, and because of that, um, we were a little bit just more detached from the land in general. Had nothing to do with the land, but... Um, we were never really like commenting on the new forum. What's the latest right. thing? 
we were kind of just observers and it was nice to of course get sets and stuff from Lego, but it started to feel strange when we stopped doing our regular review content. And then the only time we did reviews was when Lego sent us stuff from the land. And it, and it put you in a weird mental state because you're just like, am I just like, I like the set. They ask you if you want it. You're like, yes, I'll do it. I'll do the review. And then you're like, oh my gosh, like the last 10 set reviews have come from just Lego and they send it to you for free. And it just, it's weird. It's this, right. even when you know in your head that you're reviewing stuff that you enjoy, um, it just, people are like, oh, okay, they only review stuff that Lego sends and that's weird, you know. Um, yeah. And so we, we're basically just passive observers being in the land. And so when the land was doing this restructuring, uh, they contacted us and they were just like, you guys are like kind of here, but you're kind of not here. Um, it was really funny. I actually have the quote that uh, I can't remember who um, put up on the land about us leaving. And I was like, <laughs> I can't, it was, it was funny because it put us in even a nicer light than I thought we <laughs> didn't necessarily deserve uh but um basically we we were detached for a long time and when they when they let us go we we're just like that makes sense that's cool we weren't really like like as passionate or kind of kind of naturally like. floated away sure sure that's that's a good way to put it we naturally were just kind of like meh it was fun while it lasted you know yeah. i appreciate the land has a certain vision on how they want things to run and how they want mm -hmm. it how they want the atmosphere to feel, and that's that's totally cool. Yeah, um, we weren't part of any of that drama stuff, and I honestly like a lot of that was kind of uninteresting. You know, it was just uninteresting for us. So, yeah. uh, and it felt like that was at some times it felt like that was kind of a huge amount of what that content was. Uh, was there was just a lot of back and forth between like little little things and uh, it just we're, we're just building <laughs> so for anybody out there who is interested in getting into land would you would you say yeah go for it or just say kind of you know maybe not i think sure i think um there's definitely advantages to it it's just just know what it is i think a lot of people mm -hmm. entered into it expecting it to be one way or expecting it to do certain things for you or that, that it doesn't do and then it's not designed yeah. to do yeah. um and as long as you go in with a reasonable level of expectation uh that's fine um because there's definitely people that are on the land that are friends with each other or have become friends with each other and they've done little collaborative projects with each other and um if you really want to if you're really passionate about letting lego know about little things that you think could be helpful um there definitely are good things so i don't know uh if you want to do it because it's you think it's this going to be this great thing and it's going to help you expand your big media uh presence i i don't know if it's if it's great for that but i know there have been folks in your past that felt disappointed that the land wasn't like doing more for i don't know yeah uh, i understand yeah so it was um a lot of the time we were just busy building stuff and doing things for the channel and it was like, oh, do you want to do a thing or do you want to type on this thing or do you want to read through four pages of a discussion? And I'm just like, I don't have time. Like, <laughs> That was just me. Uh. <laughs> I, think, I think LAN was kind of this um, magical secret group that the general people didn't know what it was. I Because I remember like uh, people like yourselves and uh, Just Too Good and Ryan and everybody like, you know, we got this session from Lego. Thank you, Lego. Uh, let's get into the review, blah, 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 blah. And it wasn't until last year. I actually, I signed up, I, I joined the LAN web page when it more or less got set up. But I'm not in land, so I get to see who's online. I get to see all that kind of stuff, but I don't get to read the forums. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like out there are, are the same. We're kind of guests, but you can join your pictures there and you can make friends and stuff. But um, I didn't know that land was the, were the people who gave the sets to YouTubers, Twitchers, everything else up until like maybe last year at some stage. Mm -hmm. So very secret society. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of, it felt weird because it's like you're part of a cool kids club, you know, and um, it was nice. Don't get me wrong, especially when they you get an email and they say, hey, do you want to get this thing? And you're like, oh, my gosh, like, I feel so cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, 
it, it, there, there was a weird thing, especially for, um, and I know, I'm sure the other YouTubers could attest to this. There is like a timing thing, especially when you're trying to like monetize off of um, making reviews when you rent out a studio, for example. You're like, okay, at a certain point, the channel's gotta like return back, be, you know. And they're like, hey, do you want to set three weeks after everyone's reviewed it? And you're like, okay, like, and then you feel like sort of obligated to do a review, and and then you're like, okay, but like, I already know that like it's not gonna. I don't know. It it just puts you in a weird mental state, and so a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, for us, at least, it felt like they were. I don't know. It just felt. It just felt weird. Like it just. I, it, it, it. I would. We were like. You know what? I prefer to just buy a set that we want when we want it, and then do the review if that's what we yes. wanted to do. Um, but yeah, the uh, the land was an interesting place, um, and you know there was good people on the land. I remember. Um, and there's you know I don't know it's just different. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to say hello to a few people who've dropped yeah. in while we've been chatting. So we have Galaxy Ace says, hello there, Brick Vault is legendary, We have, which is pretty cool. We have Mama Lego says, hi, everyone. Bricksish popped in. Hey, Joe, how are you? Um, we have Galaxy Ace popped in as well. Good to see you, Galaxy Ace. Um, everybody's been chatting with, with each other while we've been chatting away. Uh, we have Kaju Robot is out there as well. Ben popped in. That's who I was waving at when you thought I was waving at you, Jack. Um, gotcha. <laughs> we, we do a lot of waving, Jack. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, so waving at people who are in the chat. Sometimes I'm just trying to get a fly out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, Bricks with Justin is out there. Justin, how's it going? We have Lego Loser dropped in too. Uh, great to see you. Uh, it's great that you're all spending your Thursday with us here. Lunchtime, dinner time, nighttime, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Open build repeat is here. Um, how are you? And don't forget, everybody, Jack from Brick Vaults. Um, the the links to Brick Vault are in the description below. So oh. check out Brick Vault. And um, that is all there. As is, I think Greg's is. If not, I'll pop it in. Darren should be there as well. <laughs> it should be what, there by now, Sai. No, no. What what it did was I was very, very lazy. So I had to just I had everything for the, for this week's stream ready, um, and then Jack had to do something last week, so I, I, <laughs> yes, I, just, okay. I just changed the date on like this. Jack. <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, in the description, I think I have Sarah Starbricks and and Brick in it. So Brick in it's at a stag party. Sarah is probably working. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so if you if you're here to see those guys, they might be here next week. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, delicious food has dropped in. How's it going, delicious food? I love your top tens. So there you go. There's another compliment. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. That's my favorite thing to do all week, for sure. I was yeah. I was one day late this week, but it is by far my favorite thing. I always see a new technique or a new weird thing that I was like, oh, I've never seen anybody try to do this in Lego, and that happens every every single week, multiple times, and that's just that's the coolest thing. Like Jack, Jack, outside of the realm of Star Wars, you guys sure. seem to like do other bits, like as well, like lightsabers. I, th I think that's quite good, albeit that is still Star Wars. <laughs> you you yeah. seem to do like uh, Batman's and Battlestar Galactica things, uh, some mm -hmm. lorries. You know, outside of Star Wars, w w what's your favorite stuff to sort of customize and, and mock? Ooh, um, personally, I like building spaceships from other universes i'm always i always like the different sci-fi aesthetic approaches you know like yeah. there's the really clean cut very well put together rounded smooth shapes you might see in star trek or something oh and, yeah yeah um, i'm a big fan of uh like cartoons and anime spaceships as well just because there's a lot of there's just a lot of weird colors and 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 longer shapes or weirder shapes um so I've been playing around personally just with building some, just some small stuff. I don't actually have a, as much time uh, doing my own custom stuff on my own. Not as much. Um, so I usually tackle smaller ships, just little Calvin and Hobbes little spaceship, or uh, I don't know. You ever little you things thought like about that. try tapping into like the Warhammer universe or something like that? There are. I mean, we we work with a designer, Jarek, which I'm sure a lot of people know. Yeah. yeah. Jarek's, Jarek's like, I don't know. He's like the best builder I've personally encountered, just in terms of uh, so many of the designs you might see from him uh, on the channel. He'll send us like three or four alternate versions of like completely different versions of the model, like with 
totally different internal structures and all these different connections. And he's got, he's like, I could, and he does it super fast and it's crazy. And uh, he's got some amazing Warhammer builds under his belt. And at a certain point, uh, we are going to probably build some of his Warhammer stuff out there. I used to paint a lot of Warhammer back in the day. Mm. Charlie used to paint Warhammer. Um, I never got to, once it got to the level of skill where you're mixing ink in with your paint, I was like, man, I'm just going to, I just want to use the paints and maybe what, like I couldn't get quite into that, but they were like, that's what you do to get to the next level. And I, so that's where I capped out, but I've always loved the Warhammer aesthetic. Uh, yeah, I, I I like the look. Uh, and Solo, was you in you was you into Warhammer? I I love Warhammer. I love the whole, especially the Warhammer forty k stuff. I it's just mad. I absolutely love it. It's just balls to the wall, like nuts. It's just insane. I absolutely yeah. love it. I, you know, I've read the comic books, played the games, all that kind of stuff. I just love it. I used to collect them as well back in the old day, like what you're saying there. It's just, but like. Like painting them, I just kind of there we go. That's a soldier. There we go. That's my that's my technique done. You know, but one of my friends, I always used to give it to one of my friends. You know, uh, you I'll, I'll try and dig him out one day. His painting skills are mad, mm. so so good. You know, you you have to look very carefully to try and notice like little imperfections. Yeah, stuff. it's it's a really good art. I really do like it, especially if they can do it with the little spray guns as well. Oh yeah, that's what he, he had. Like he had like four on the go, little little tiny little things, changing nozzles around, mixing up paint. Yeah. And I was like, mate, how the hell do you? <laughs> they look amazing. That. They look that's amazing. So they really I tell you what I did, Jack. Recently, and I say recently, it's literally in the last two or three weeks. I've, I've started collecting just a few of them, not many. Um, the Thank Black you. series, the Hasbro Black series uh, oh. figures from Star Wars, and they, and, and they are they're beautifully coloured. I mean, they they really do. They got like three D photographed uh, printed heads. So like something like Count Dooku, who, who's my favourite character in Star Wars, he. It is, it's Christopher Lee. It is literally yeah. Christopher Lee, like a little six-inch <laughs> version of him. Um, but, sorry, what I found last night as well, and Solo, you might know about this already, but you know at the end of The Mandalorian, when they used to do the artwork yeah. of The Mandalorian in that particular style, they've actually brought out a theme of the Black Series in that style of colour as well. Oh, that's very cool. I like yeah, that. and I thought, oh, that looks really good. And it does. They've got, like, you know, there was the, the Mandalorian, the big heavy weapon one. Uh, it, oh, it yeah. Was like, it was, like, their yeah. answer to, to Baz Malbus or something like that. It, oh, it, yeah, they're making the fig of him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, okay. it looks amazing. He does. It looks really, really good. But just out of curiosity, what what's your, what's your take on, say, um, the new Slave One stroke? Uh, Boba Fett. No, 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 it's Slave One. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, no. oh, you mean the naming thing? J just before you answer that, Jack, I'm just going to bring in one other guest that we have in the yeah. green room. Um, yeah. We've yeah. got Lego Danny Bob. Hey, Danny. Hey, hey everyone. How's it going today? Hello. Good. Hey, good. Danny Bob. I hear um, I popped so in at just the right time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, over to your left, our right, I suppose, is Jack from Brickfold. And this is Danny from Lego Danny Bob. Hey, guys. Hi. Um, yes, so sorry, go on and uh, go ahead and answer that, Jack. Okay, so this the Slave One versus Boba Fett Starship thing. Uh, <laughs> um, I I mean, once again, I the only thing that kind of irks me about the like, if people want to call it the Starship, don't care. Uh, you want to call it Slave mm -hmm. One, don't care. I I've grown up my whole life calling it the Slave One, so mm -hmm. I'm just not going to remember to not call it that. Like that's just yeah. me personally, but um, I do think what is gonna be annoying in the future let's say for example if we wanted to design a slave one or other people are working on slave one models mm. there's always going to be like comments or a little discussion now every time somebody like i don't want to talk about the name versus like that's uninteresting to me but that's mm. going to be part if i say slave one you're going to see the comment and you say somebody else says like now that's going to be a forever part of the discussion and it's just kind of like well all right um i'm just they can change it they don't change it i i i personally am just uninvested in yeah. like, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's disney at the end of the day that's doing it but yeah. what, I, yeah. what i do like because em and i have reviewed the set today and yeah. what i do like in it though they've done a great job of the new boba fett albeit there's a couple of colors that are kind of a little bit wrong 
But I think it's fine. Uh, the printing on the arm looks amazing. Looks really, really good. Yeah, the figure looks cool. I I generally just like the new aesthetic for the character. I think he looks. Mm. I it's a I think it's an appropriate evolution for him. Um, mm. So yeah, no. Uh, I think when they when it comes down to them making cool f figs are getting better in general. Uh, yeah, you know, just with the details definitely. and stuff. Um, and I'm pretty happy with with all the new figs coming out in the next wave. Just their their aesthetic. It looks great. Yeah, and Jack, Jack, if you and this is, I tell you what, is a question because yeah. Lego Danny Bob, she's into a Star Wars. She knows a few things about Star Wars. Is a question for both of you. If you could have actually Solo, to be fair, he's into a lot of Star Wars. If you could have one minifigure that they've not brought out yet, which one would it be? Oh, like a new character? Uh, yeah, a character, a character from the Star Wars universe that's mm -hmm. never been done in minifigure form. Which one would you go for? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I feel like I remember this. I'll be thinking about it in my car and be like, oh, that would be the coolest figure. <laughs> I, I don't have a guy on the top of my head right now. Um, I feel like this was also a, a question that was asked like a hundred times over when I used to do live streams. And I would come up with like different answers on different days. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, oof, uh, I don't know if you have if Danny Bob's got an answer first. <laughs> yeah, Danny Bob's about. Now. Yeah, she's like, like pass the ball, pass the ball. <laughs> Hot potato. Uh, that's a yeah, that's the same thing. Like, uh, there's so many characters that they haven't made, but they're also like obviously not main characters, so they're not going to pop into your head right away. So I don't have an exact answer for that. I know they're probably going to make an Omega character. Sorry, Omega, Omega character. And yeah. so we'll probably see her next year or something. But yeah, that's a great one. I'm going to have to think on that. Yeah, it's going to be tough because there's definitely figs that um, I think, you know, could deserve updates and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm really just looking forward to they're bringing Hayden Christensen back and stuff, and they're going to be. Yeah. That is going to be like massive, I think. I can't um, wait for Kenobi. Uh, it's gonna be oh, I'm going to love it. I, cause he, he was a really good Kenobi, and the fact that he did it like 20 odd years ago, and now he's got. He's got older into middle age, where he's at that halfway point between Alex Guinness and where he was before. Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. That's just it. That's all I want. And we're going to have Darth Vader in it as well. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, no, that's 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 going to be a big part of the universe that I'm eager to see expanded on. Let's yeah, say that. yeah. And Mace Windu could come back. How cool would that be? <laughs> that's like, I feel like that's such a layup. First of all, if he <laughs> actually died fighting the Emperor, he'd be the only Jedi that died from falling off a thing, like ever. Yeah, the only guy that that happened to. So I accidentally ended up on IMDb's page. Just saying. Oh, really? Samuel Jackson's name was put up there, and then I think about a couple of minutes later, was quickly taken oh. down. But you could only imagine how many screenshots was taken of that. Oh that yeah, was all definitely. Yeah. Well, and, the, um, the thing is, the, the thing is, though, I tell you, the, the one thing as well. I was only thinking about this today. I think it was because I, I watched it like last week because I, I revenge of the sith is actually quite a watchable star wars movie it's, there's a lot going on there um and, and poor old anakin he was like from pillar to post he was poor old. but the, the semi you know palpatine he never got up right he never got i mean it was a bit weird he got up didn't he he was like scarred to, and he didn't go oh god what's happened to me or anything like that he just he took, he just he took it pretty well <laughs> he, like, he, pretty well jackie took it be too well with your eyes. Robot <laughs> Chicken. They got a deleted scene, scene of him in Robot Chicken. Watch that one. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to watch that. Oh, I, I would have been mortified if that was me. Oh. He, goes, he, he didn't even turn around to Anakin and say, "Oh, thanks for saving my life" or something like that. <laughs> watch. He's watch going to your Darth Vader. Everything you're thinking there, Greg, is on Robot Chicken. Watch it. Oh, is it? it? You're I'm going to have yourself, mate. Oh, yeah. the best. The best one is when he takes out Jar Jar. When, oh, when, that is funny. That's my that favorite one when he kills Jar Jar. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> one character I can't stand. <laughs> it's like, why did they have him in it? Nah, uh, that's the best character in the film. What are you talking this about? Is, speaking of <laughs> odd characters, um, Jack and Danny, I'll ask you because a, a, a program that Greg, he didn't force me to watch, but he kept saying, watch it, watch it. Modoc. Any, you got anybody watching Modoc on uh, Disney Plus? I am not. <laughs> look, 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 they're both Googling Modoc. Yeah. What uh, is Ty talking about? Uh, <laughs> it's the geezer with a big head. 
<laughs> F from Marvel. Okay, so basically. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the name sounds familiar. I remember the figure. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the actual minifigure was brilliant. I don't like the brick built version. I think that's a, but um yeah. So Greg, Greg was, was said to me, watch it, watch it. I'm watching. It's brilliant. So I watched the first. So I thought to myself, oh my god, I'm not into this at all. It's uh, Adult Swim, isn't it? Adult Swim, not Adult Swim. Who, who? It's a robot chicken as well, isn't it? The yeah, robot chickens. Um, adult I'm swim. just looking at oh, the pictures. Modok is just literally fox hopping. I think no, the um, the actual animation style. Oh, yeah, no, it yeah, looks like a, yeah, like a claymation yeah. style thing. So I, I I stuck with it and I watched it and I'm still watching. And la last week I said to Greg, "Are you still watching Modok?" And he was like, "Oh no, I only watched two of those. I, was I like, watched two episodes. That's it." I hate the program, and I'm still <laughs> because I'm committed to it now. It's like I've OCD, and I need to I need to, need to, need to know what happens. I, you said to you, you didn't like it, so I, I was fed up every week. Uh, it started <laughs> off before Modoc, and everyone said that no one was watching it other than Chris and Um I said to them, is anyone watching Invincible? And they went, no. It was like, well, I can't talk about Invincible. Um, have you started watching it now, Solo? Yeah, man, I've watched it ages ago. So well, well, I, I, I'm, I'm I, saying I, to I, everyone, I, why is no one watching I, Invincible? I said on your live stream, I was like, yeah, I'm watching it. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying to people, I said it, it all seemed very normal, very from a sort of Disney thing, apart from the last two minutes of episode one. And that that was the when the real Invincible came to life. It really was. Um, it was That's a mad show. That is mad. <laughs> Blimey, it's mad. It's, 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 it's not Lego. Let's put it that way, folks. It's nothing like that. Um, okay, so I put a little poll out just asking everybody, is, are they missing their Marvel fix? So basically what I meant was, I meant Loki, because we still have Marvel, Modoc on a, a Friday, which is fine. You get an hour's worth of, of watching on a... You get the Bad Batch, and then you have Modoc. Watch Modoc. You'll probably like it. Um, you probably will like it. It's very adulty, I will say. So don't let your kids watch it. Um, sure. No, don't let yes, your kids know. So <laughs> um, Danny, what about you? Have you been watching? You haven't been watching Modoc, we know that. But Bad Batch, <laughs> what did you think? We can talk about actually, not last week's Bad Batch, the one before, um, which was odd in a good way. Um, the Bad Batch made a cameo appearance in their own show. I know, I know. It was like, <laughs> oh, we're watching a Clone Wars episode. Wait, this is Bad Batch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, are, oh, Greg, are you thinking they're going to make a uh, young Hera minifigure then for this episode? I, I, I'd like to see that, but I'd also like to see, because I tell you, it was a, a series that had a lot of love and it was set in a really good time was uh, Rebels. I think Rebels was really good. Uh, last yeah. season or so was brilliant. I'll tell I you that. one thing that you guys should watch if you're a big fan of Star Wars. Now, it's on the YouTube Kids channel, but it's it's Star Wars Resistance. Shorts. Okay, it's, okay, I thought you were going to no, say No, no, no. <laughs> Spit those words out, throw them in the bin. We never speak of that. That never happened. Thank you, um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Star Wars Shorts, they are fantastic animations, and it's basically... I suppose you might say Star Wars in a nutshell, but the animation on it is brilliant. Only like one or two minutes long. Honestly, check them out. Mm. It's so good. And it's like, I think they, they do ones for individual characters. So you kind of get one from like Han Solo and it kind of transitions until he gets Carbonite and, you know, until he's an old man. It, they're just great. Honestly, check them out. It's on YouTube Kids, but check I feel it like out. that's I mean, the Star way Wars to show. like help all the, the younger generation catch up without having to yeah, watch catch movies. Up, yeah. like, oh, that's actually a good it, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty animation. useful function. The animation just blows your mind. It's great. But the Boba That's Fett good. one is the best one. It by far is the best one. And it really mm. shows him as a proper badass. So as well, I was like, yeah, that's the one I want to know. Yeah, that was probably the most satisfying thing in all of Star Wars for me in the last year was seeing Boba Fett uh -huh. like really take on troopers. And you're like, okay, he's finally the guy that everybody like held him up to be. Because you don't really yeah. see him do a lot of the stuff as Boba Fett. And you're like, there yeah. he is. Yeah, you got all of us going. Now he's a proper badass. He, he's, he's he's awesome. He can't die with that kind of stuff. Have yeah, look at his helmet. Oh, he's got to yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have to say goodbye to Solo. Solo is running on like five percent battery or yeah, something. Yeah, unfortunately, I would I love to stay longer in chat, but yeah, my phone's dying and my missus has got my charger. So yeah, <laughs> no worries um, at all, dude. Um, Harry, have you anything coming up in your channel? No, not yet. I mean, I've done anything. It's been too hot, mate. <laughs> so, 
unless you want to see a sweaty man sit in front of the camera, nah, nah. Well, I tell you, a lot of people tuned in last night to see that here. Um, and I, I actually had a poll up last night if they wanted to see me stream shirtless. Um, somebody in the chat said, yeah, but I, I think that poll was wrong. So um, we would never speak of that again. So it maybe was 70 percent. Shut your face, shut your face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, anyway, we have to let Solo go and we'll talk to you soon, Solo. Maybe see you tomorrow. And um, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, take care, Solo. That was Solo, a brick builder. Um, so yeah, so Danny, what have you been up to this week? I saw on Instagram yeah. somebody was um playing with RC cars. Oh yeah, we do the uh, RC cars. We have one sixteenth scale RC cars. My little brother just knows all the specs, so he loves to like reel it off to me. All I know is drive, reverse, or turning, driving, reverse. That's all I know. <laughs> so yeah, we're ripping around on the track. Uh, they actually developed some of the land out back, and our track is like oh, I don't even know how long it is. It's like almost the size of a soccer pitch. So no way. Good. Yeah, that's great. It just keeps getting longer yeah. and longer. They're fast, man. I love RC car yeah, driving. When I was when I was in miles per hour. Well, when I was sixteen, I used to yeah, race, race them. I used to race them in all sorts of different places. Um, yeah. I loved it. I really did. It was such good fun. I really, really loved it. It was really magical. I remember changing the chain drives to belt drives, and I'd like the Kyosho Op Optima and stuff like that. Like really, I mean, just pro grasshopper. Did Tamiya still make the grasshopper? That was a thing back in the day. Um, but yeah, the, you can tell they, these are sets that are like 25 years old or something like that. Um, I think uh, Jang's a person you'd have to ask about that. Oh yeah. yeah, my brother, my Charlie, he's he's huge into RC stuff. He's recently, since we moved, because we have so much open space now as opposed to Southern California. Uh, whew, I mean, he's got the big ones, he's got the medium ones, he's got the little ones, he's reinforcing the inside of the tires so they don't like rip apart at high speeds and he's 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 like deep into that kind of meta now um when before a year ago i don't think he was into it i just get to drive him around which is great uh, well speaking of the rc guy here he is hi dougie <laughs> hello hey dougie hello yeah. hello RC car <laughs> has he got his car with him has he got has he got it with him oh, you want to show him your car Sure. Yeah, it's just downstairs. I'll grab it. <laughs> the, the RC world feels oh, like yes, one of those things that's fire. just been getting, boom, better and better and better and better throughout the years. Because I remember when I first saw, you know, my brother comes in, he's like, check out what this RC car can do. And I'm just like, it couldn't have done any of these things when I was, like, I didn't, I didn't think they were capable of hitting the speeds that they hit or the acceleration or the maneuverability or yeah. the durability when they smash into that's a tree. That's the key. That's the key. Um, yeah. I've already broken but, several different parts and he's been able to fix everything. So the, they're wow. still very durable. And then he keeps upgrading them to like, you know, aluminum and metal and different things that wow. are stronger. Carbon was just coming in. So basically we, we used to basically take, um, uh, take a chassis, make a carbon version of it. And then we'd, we'd get a drill, drill holes in it and just see how light we could get it before it just kind of broke. Uh, <laughs> It was amazing. I used to love it, honestly. And uh, what, what, sorry, so what scale is it? Did you say 132 or 18 or one quarter? Oh, one, I'm pretty sure they're 116th. 116th. I think that's what I used to race. They're about that big, about bigger than yeah, a, just yeah. about, about just a bit just bigger than a shoe box. That they can like take your legs out if you get hit at full speed, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but just yeah, small enough yeah. that it won't like break your leg. <laughs> wow. Here, here it is. He's going. Make, make it big. Oh, there you go. go. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's what what make is it? And what model is that? What make and model? So it's Sorry. Traxxas, right? If you come Traxxas. closer to the microphone so everybody can hear you. Dude. Does, does Traxxas, Traxxas, Traxxas do the call? Max X? Is that what I'm thinking <laughs> of? Does, it, does Traxxas do the Max X? Yeah, they do the X Max yeah. and the X -Max. Max. Oh, X Max. Okay. That's what yeah, that's what my brother likes to break all the time. Yeah. That's what he likes to break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Back in my day, the Rustler. Oh, the rustler, uh, and, uh, that sounds good. Our brother, they've got the 
they have slash the, the max and the slash they have ultimate. the max and the slash ultimate so pretty insane racing machines they're trying to convince me and dougie to get the same one so we have four of the same cars and then we Wait can it. have a fair oh, race <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah the the rc cars have yeah, uh, ramped up a lot what, what motors one. have they got danny danny what <laughs> motors have they got in them what, what motors? motors were they um you know? i'm not entirely sure i think it's like a 7500 7500 apparently Whatever okay that that's kind yeah. of far it's the same motor that's in the max oh he said it's the same motors that's in the max in case uh, you now which is the cheaper sport lego if you can kind of call it a sport or RC. <laughs> it is lego sport <laughs> this would be yeah i would say the rc car racing could be a sport that's so oh definitely it's competitive oh for sure yeah it's about entertainment and competition so yes rc car racing could be a sport yeah i saw a video of the guys they're doing jumps while they're racing and then they're reorienting the axis of the lean in midair so they don't flip over yeah. before they yeah. land again and i'm just like how like my mind is blown um you kind of just get into a little muscle memory because it's yeah it's impossible to react that fast but yeah you just get like a little bit of a turn and the car's like, woo, is that how they go through the air? It looks really cool. And then also, if you're about to flip, you just kind of like, you know, turn the wheels a little bit too, and it helps it to stay back on the wheels. So even if your car's cartwheeling, you get right back. You know, you, know you should get on this is uh, uh, Rich Boy Jay. Jalen. Yeah. Who's that? He's Well, he he made a, a course in his backyard for RC. Oh, yeah? He, yeah. I, he, I saw a video of his a few months back, I think. And he's like, yeah, so this is my backyard. And he's like, got a whole, he's got a whole thing. He's doing jumps and stuff. He'd be able to contribute, I think, pretty well to this conversation. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we'll have to do an RC car stream at some stage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get a okay. GoPro on the end of one. Do some jumps. Yeah. Totally because uh, it doesn't matter. Even if you're if you're talking about um, Lego, it always goes off into a, a different um, branch of something else. Um, I'm yeah. just going to say hello to a few people who did drop in. Actually, I want to say hello to. Um, Bricking up Brad. Bricking up Brad is a TikTok, a Lego TikToker, and he's doing really well. But he has got himself a job in the Lego store, so he had a little video saying that he might not be able to do as much of the content he used to do, but he'd be doing a lot of more mock oriented stuff. So good to see you, Brad. Um, all barefoot and bricks dropped in earlier on, talking about DC. Uh, PG Brick dropped in. Um, who else did I see there? Uh, Bricks with Justin. I think I said hello to Bricks with Justin earlier on. Uh, Brett Bills. Hey, Brett, how's it going? We also have um, um, Buzz Brick here, and we have Skeletor Studios. Hey, Skeletor, haven't seen you for a long time. Welcome on in. And he has an awesome snake. And thank you for the $5 donation. You rock, my friend. Um, and Bricks and Mortar. Hey, Jimmy, good to see you. Hope you are well. Hey, Greg. Hey, or say, hey Cy. Greg, Danny, and Jack. Um, so, hey, good to see you all. You're all looking great. Uh, Jack, you can still stick around for a while, I presume, yeah? Um, yeah, I've got maybe another 20, 30 minutes before I I need to start doing some other things. But, yeah, 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 I, can, I still got some time. Okay, perfect. Um, what do you do on a Thursday? Because I know you, you, you get ready for a Friday. Do you want to tell everybody what you get ready for? Um, sure. Um, so Thursdays are my prep days for doing custom build. I keep trying to point there um, <laughs> for custom build videos. So Thursdays will be scripting. Thursdays will be doing any last minute part checks and tweaks to models just in case like I accidentally messed something up. Um, so I'll be, I mean, I might as well. This This will be the video for tomorrow. But um, I'll be finishing up the script for the Going Merry, which is actually oh, cool. a cartoon show, an anime that I'd always seen images of for quite a long time. The designer did such a phenomenal job. And when I first saw this, I was like, I don't know anything about the show, um, but this model. And I mean, well, when I film it, I'll be able to show the closer details, but it's at a micro scale. And I mean, he's got, he's got, he does detailing between jumper pieces and plates built side by side to show wood deck paneling at a, at a higher definition. I mean, like he's really, really gone above and beyond in terms of uh, detail and stuff. So uh, Thursdays are me scripting and doing some filming and some store photo shots. And you, I, we do a little bit of Photoshop um, to try to get all the dust and scratches off our table. And <laughs> um, there was one thing I, I really missed when you guys changed. Um, 
it was a really special thing you had. So um, I never knew they were called a Lazy Susan until you were calling it a Lazy Susan. Do you remember the old one you had, the white one? Um, yeah. One of the best kind of um, shots you got was on um, was on a Wonder Woman. And I think I have it here. I had it somewhere. There was a Wonder Woman and it was one, she came with a book and she was in a kind of a red costume. But there was a gold, this is really nerdy, I know, but there was a gold um, reflection on it that I didn't even know was there. But whatever way you were able to catch the light on some of these things, it just made most of the minifigures gold and silver belt, belt buckles shine. Um, and I thought that was brilliant. It, and it made me kind of want some minifigures more than I kind of thought I wanted. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were, you know, we were having that conversation over... I can't remember recently we were looking back at some of the old videos and they got a bunch of views and we're like, I wonder if like, if like the market increases over time when people see like these old figs and then you hear people talking about the prices and stuff. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We, I mean, we play a lot with lighting. Um, we're not as good as Jang. I feel like Jang is just the master of that. Um, <laughs> Jang's just like figured out a thing that no one else did, but, uh, yeah, we definitely, if there's something that shines and it doesn't show up on the camera, I like do it again. I usually just change the, the height of a light, but um, yeah, it is, you know what, that lazy Susan, uh, you can, you can blame Ramon. Ramon broke it one day. So uh, I know I'm throwing him under the bus. You heard it here. You heard it first. He picked it up by the top, just the thin layer on the top and the whole thing just whoosh, ripped off. That's no. mental. Um, no. Yeah, no, yeah. The, 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 one other thing, Jack. Um, yeah. In your earlier videos, so in your earlier videos, okay, you were like everybody who starts on YouTube. And um, did you, did you, were you still doing kind of film stuff, or how did you learn to bring yourself out and be, you know, animated and kind of um, relax in front of the camera? I suppose. I, I don't know how to explain it. So basically, when you do your first few videos, we're all kind of a little bit wooden, and it's like, you know, hi, how are you? And you're sure. kind of, you're crapping your pants because you don't know how you're <laughs> going to be accepted. You know, with people like, who the hell, you know, so you, you've fitted in right into being friends with the camera. Um, well, I think part of, I think I had a lot of experience uh, with just other jobs. So before I was doing um, YouTube, uh, I was, an elementary school teacher in South Korea, teaching English for a couple of years. Um, so that working at a younger age group and also not having a full grasp of the language, you have to kind of be a little bit more, I don't know, you have to be more outgoing when you have to be outgoing, you have to be more stern when you're stern because you're, uh, there was that. And then also I was a camp counselor, you know, running a little right. camp with you know, 60 kids or something for, I don't know, every summer for a long, long time. So um, I think to a certain extent, just being in front of people and having to present yourself, um, you get a little bit more, it doesn't mean you're good necessarily, but it does yeah. mean you get comfortable quickly yeah. um, with that. So some of that was just previous experience. And I also was doing some more like behind the camera, but I was doing a lot more videography work, just like side hustle stuff as I first started the Brick Vault channel. Um, being a cameraman on movie pilots or like TV show pilots. No way. Which is hilarious because like they all fail and they are always like these weird producers. And they're like, here, follow a random guy around with a camera for a day in awkward situations. It's, so I don't know. There was a bit of that too. Well, I I think you you really you really fit in, and I I really really enjoy your your charisma. That's what I that's what I like <laughs> charisma of Jack. Well, thank you, thank you a lot. I mean, I hope to get back in front of the camera again at some point. It's been quite a long time. Um, it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't even remember making that decision. It was sort of just like we were moving around, and I was like, eh, I don't have time to like do a in front of camera shot. I'm just gonna record it from the the computer and then eventually that's just been sort of the content for the past yeah. year, year and a half but um because you 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 and mike weren't the only two there were like people before you guys now i used to know the names because they were always on was one began with m miriam was there a miriam i that name does not i remember i i asked on your one of your live streams one time and you you, you said that some of them were your friends who were actually uh, trained to be actors Sure. Yeah, that was in that was in uh, Orange County. So, 
it was a great combination of people that were doing side acting gigs and they were super comfortable with doing camera stuff. And I was like, that's great. Like at, in the very beginning, when I started, I was, I was doing all like the editing and uh, the scheduling and I was in more of like a producer role sort of. Um, and then it was great to have friends come on and they also, we had it all worked down to time. I was doing all the camera work and, um, they were super happy to be in front of the camera. And that was, those were always really f fun and strange days. Cause we'd be like, Hey, let's build nine Lego sets in 12 hours or something oh my in God. a hot garage with no AC. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was, that was, but it was fun. Cause you have a lot of weird like bonding moments with me. Like, yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. I'm just going to say hello to cabbage face uh, bricks who popped in. And um, <laughs> do you want to, um, you've got something cool going on at the moment, Danny, on your channel. Um, Jack might be interested in this and he might even take part. You'd never know what's going yeah. on. You've, you've launched a new uh, something. Um, yes. Yeah, so I actually have a mock contest going on right now. It is, mm -hmm. um, to celebrate reaching 500 subscribers and it will go until August 14th. So it's open to anybody and uh, there's a $50 grand prize with either Amazon or Lego gift card as the grand prize and okay. also second and third place. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. I've already got a couple of people that have entered and a couple of people that have asked about it, but the more the merrier, cause it's fun to get to put all of them together in a compilation to see what stuff people came up with. So we've got that going on. Cool. That's awesome. So, Jack, Jack, there's an invitation. Might uh, <laughs> yep. I know now I've, gotta, <laughs> now I've gotta put something in there. Put the yeah. and can can it be something that you might have modified or does it have to be a mock? Uh so it does need to be your own creation. So Perfect. not just a modified set, but preferably like you know, something that you built from scratch. And my favorite theme is Star Wars, so it is Star Wars themed. Um, and then like a sub theme within that to kind of narrow it down is rescue. So the idea is a Star Wars rescue story, which there are wow. so many. So I feel like there's a lot yeah. of inspiration to draw from. Awesome. Great idea, Danny. It, brilliant idea. Really good idea. It, do you have any um, kind of entry updates that people can look at at the moment? Um, uh, if you are able to search Danny Bob 500, that is, um, that's like the, the uh, what's it called, hashtag to be able to find anybody that's entered. So Perfect. I suppose you could do that, but I think it's just pretty much open. So if you need inspiration, I don't know, if you look up Star Wars mocks, you always get like such amazing things. So sometimes it's too much inspiration. You just kind of have to start playing with bricks and see what you come up with. <laughs> Exactly. So as Danny said, it's open for everybody. Everybody should at least give it a go. And I mean, like we all know each other um, in the community and we're all friends. So, you know, every, I mean, there's um, there's the mockumentary, which is done with onboard toys, the plastic architect and tech. So people always send stuff there and it's a safe space. Nobody criticizes in a bad way. You know, people will give their honest opinion, say maybe you should put this here or that there. And Danny is the same. So if you, if you submit something to Danny, um, anyone else in there will be, you know, supportive. And so don't feel shy. Do something. Send it in, and um, you know, you could be the next big mock builder. Um, <laughs> and it's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really good idea. Um, Greg, you going to take part in in it? Because I think you'd be. Um... <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm I'm trying to. Do you know what? It's a great idea, and I love watching these. And I I'm definitely going to get into doing mock stuff massively i might do something actually i might actually throw something in there um i want to get i want to get involved in that sort of thing because I, I think it's a really nice idea danny i really do and I, i'm not ashamed of anything i do anyway i i i, I um what was his name solo used to do um and i think he might be doing another one soon si uh yeah. where, he, where it's called uh, are you mocking me where everybody buys the same set and what, what did i buy i bought the one with um zora bliss in it uh, the, you know the cheap micro fighter one that she did the um the, the y-wing the -wing, and basically yeah. we, so we all bought the same set it was dead cheap it was only about we, we could buy it for seven pounds at the time it was amazon doing it in the sale and then uh basically you just had to do something with it um and i quite enjoyed it it's it, you've got 10 i think you had 15 minutes to build it that sort of thing and it was fun i, I enjoyed it and i definitely will be doing stuff uh danny so you know if you ever want to come on 
uh, London Calling, just give it any more of a, a promo or anything like that. You know, always feel free. Yeah. But uh, every time it, this, every time the story comes along, see, I was a judge in that one. Oh, right? yeah. and I didn't pick Greg, so Greg had been in <laughs> one for about a month. <laughs> Everyone was saying, Greg, Greg's got this one in the bag. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. Because I thought about it that week, what I was going to do. In fact, I didn't even start building. I was just chatting away, and then I started building what I thought I might build. And uh, I thought I thought we had it in the bag. And then Cy came along, and he looked at it, and he's like, no, nah, I don't like that. I was like, oh. oh. I think so, I gave it to, to Mike and Ike or somebody, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't have a more, much more deserving than me. Uh, but uh, I, I wasn't going to bring it up, so, but you did. So I just think it's hilarious. I think it's a funny old old um, Tim, Tim Bainbridge has a question for Jack. Um, has any of Jack's designer friends got through the Lego Ideas uh, Bricklink designer program? Ooh, great question. Ooh, I know some of them have gotten 10,000 votes. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have to remember every... Um, <laughs> I know a lot of guys have submitted for sure, and there's a few that didn't get through because of like licensing stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember, uh, I want to say Nicola, who did the uh, the Thunder Drop, put in a um, his uh, Planet Express from Futurama, which is like an amazing yeah. model. Oh my gosh, he's made it at a few different sizes, and each one is like so good. Uh, in fact, I just got an email from him, and I'm gonna have to pester him on making another design again. But uh, um, there was somebody that did get 10,000 votes not too long ago, and I feel bad because I can't remember. But yes, yeah, some designers have have submitted some of their models and gotten 10,000 votes in. Um, you, you had you submitted um, Rick and Morty's portal gun. I did. Yeah, I, they 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 knocked it down because I call I said like Rick and Morty something, and they were like no, and so I changed the name, and I can't remember what I changed it to. Uh, yeah, that thing. That thing you got broken in transport. It's like resting at the bottom of a bin of a bunch of pieces right now, uh, which is funny because apparently those windscreen pieces are worth like a fortune now on Bricklink. Mm -hmm. I looked it up recently and I was like, oh my gosh, like they're just, well, that's, that's just the nature of like old Lego pieces. But um, yeah, no, I have Charlie submitted his AT-80, his little one at some point. We've played around with ideas. Um, but no, none of us have gotten lucky and gotten, or none of us have gotten through to that next stage. Yeah, but, it's hard. Uh, it's really hard because and there's so many people. I mean, basically, your news, every for the last year, whenever you do your news, uh, weekly news, it's half taken up by the amount of people that have is. got ideas sets. In. When I used to do ideas, because I've been doing the news, uh, I have actually the number of episodes listed, the weekly episodes. Um, Let's see if I can find it. Protection videos. So the news that came out last week was episode 279. Wow. And that's weekly. So the first year or two, maybe, it was like once every two weeks to a month, you talk about one new design that got voted in for 10,000. Yeah. Uh, and now it's like every week, it's like two or three, sometimes four. So the i think that aspect of just the community and not more and more people know about ideas and that's just i mean it's cool that we have the participation but it is interesting to see that the actual design team dedicated to it at lego is like we can only accept one maybe two every review stage that's i mean i just don't think they've got the the resources or necessarily the willpower to really really expand on that theme so it is cool when they get people get accepted i mean yeah. At the end of the day, you just have to be happy for the people that get in because, you know, <laughs> there's so yeah, many but, amazing models. But there's, then, then there's, of course, there's this second life that people have uh, yeah. with, 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 um, with Bricklink and, yeah. and that. And, and, of course, that, that didn't exactly go super smoothly, did it? Not the smoothest, uh, no. <laughs> but, but, but hopefully they'll live and learn from that because they, they accidentally had another 5,000 orders uh, for the castle yep. in the forest. Uh, which I, which made me laugh because I thought, "Blimey, you just doubled your money." Is it what, what are you complaining about? Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it was cool. I mean, the fact that they had five, a limit of five per order, I was like, "What?" Because isn't the Lego store only like two usually? Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting that they allowed five, but you know, now they know. Now they know. So, um, 
<laughs> yeah. We do have somebody else in the chat who has um, a kind of collaboration in with um, something they're doing for Lego Ideas, and that's Cabbage Face Bricks and Boom Bricks. And they have got the Munsters car, which is called, um, what's it called? The, the coach? Coach. Coach, yeah. yeah um, coach. Looks really good, um, and it's doing pretty well at the moment as well. Uh, the monsters, yeah, this monsters, yeah. So uh, just a monsters. plug there for Cabbage Face. Cool. Um, it looks quite good, yeah. So, so they they did manage to build it in real Lego, and they did paint some of the pieces in gold because they don't exist in gold. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully one day we'll know somebody who has something on sale in in the Lego store. Yeah, it is. It is interesting to see. Um, I feel like there's unofficial rules to the Bricklink or sorry, the Lego Ideas submission process where they will make some new pieces, but for any new set, they're like, oh, we're not going to like make 20 new elements and like different colors. Like we're not going to do that, you know. So there is that funny, uh, interesting line where there's they'll they'll do it for like a couple. I think I don't know if they have an exact number in mind, but. Um, I have seen some really amazing sets. You know, they get they get pushed through, and then it requires like thirty new pieces. You know, like yeah. ah, the design team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were talking about this before. You, um, both of you guys um, joined uh, Jack and Danny. We were talking about the um, the Lego Ideas um, McAllister House. Um, is it called? Is it, they still call it the McAllister House, or are they just going with? Um, Home Alone. I can't home remember. Alone. Oh, but they'll they probably go with Home Alone. They, yeah. they, they've brought it, like, you know, it's a hundred dollars. How much the license is going to cost. If it's something like so much for Home Alone and so much for the McAllister's house, it's, you know, that can feature in it. Yeah. They, well, the, I think they have it down to a, a, a science of like, okay, how many people are going to want to get like a giant? Because at a certain point, you can't make a set too big. Um, yeah. So maybe they calculated it down to like, all right, what's the biggest thing that like, uh, because they're, because the McAllister house appeals to people that maybe aren't necessarily huge Lego fans too, which is part of what the ideas team, I think, tries to take account of. They're like, what are the hardcore fans going to really like? But what are people that are like, oh, I really like Seinfeld, yeah. you know, like, I really like Seinfeld, but I don't have any Lego sets, but I want the Seinfeld set. If the Seinfeld set was like three times bigger, they're like, I'm not going to like put this giant one thing, you know? So there, there is this weird balance, but because there's so many great moments in the McAllister house for home alone, yeah, it's like, now you're playing the game of like, which of you, like clearly someone's favorite prank or favorite booby trap, like isn't going to have space now. So that's the sad part about bringing the, that set down <laughs> i would pay 200 dollars euros whatever for the McAllister house if it had a back that opened up does it not i, no. I don't know I, we're under the impression that because it might be a hundred dollars now it might be just a facade yeah oh we're supposed to have a back on it yeah i'm thinking like a Simpsons set style. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would be that kind would of work. perfect. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, the Simpsons has, well, I think that was two hundred when it came out first. So that probably if it came out, it might be about three hundred. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know, but I still pay. You're getting awesome mini figures. You're getting a really good set, and I like buildings. I really like buildings, and like I put backs. I always buy some hinges, and I'm always saying this. I always buy buy hinges and kind of cover up the back. I put I put a hinge back onto most of my buildings, so to, to have that done already is pretty good but the old creator three and ones they used to have a back on them yeah. yeah so i mean like i mean i'm always putting this like this this is one of the examples of it and that it, that came with two buildings the other one's over here it'll fall down for, but that's that's it, it opens up and you get a proper yeah. building. i miss yeah. those i really yeah. miss those i remember for our lego city years ago i took that set and the other one is very simple yeah, and I and I turned it into a top one, so I took off the hinges because then I could compact them and put them all side by side, and we had sort of a smaller residential. But yeah, that was. Do they? So I guess the new creator. I haven't gotten a new creator one, but do they not? They don't split like that anymore. I'm no, assuming. they're more like. Ah, um... uh, okay. 
Actually, so we have that was, one too. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is one myself and Greg built. We, myself and Greg on Wednesdays, we have a regular stream called the Backlog, and I saw, I saw it. Yeah, I saw a piece of it yesterday, actually. Oh, thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so it, it alternates between mine and Greg's, and we built that on it, and it was a really good fun um, building to build. Really good fun. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah. Um, Nolik wants to say hello to Danny. I think. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi, Nolik. Hi. Hey, how are you tonight? Good. Good. He got his hair cut. Oh, you did? Wow. That's that my house. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so um, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so he got his hair cut and he was so happy mm -hmm. and he can't believe it's so short. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Jack, this is Nullig. So Nullig is the Irish word for Christmas because Whoa. he was supposed to arrive at Christmas, but he was a little bit early. <laughs> so so is, he, is he called Easter then? Is it, is it something like that? Mm. Yeah, someone in the green room have just been mm. told. Thank you, Lorraine. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's such a nice name. I've The Irish names have always fascinated me. Yeah. Um, as, especially, I didn't discover how different Irish names were until I was much older. <clears throat> and then I had an Irish friend uh, named Niamh. And... Yeah. <laughs> And I said, and we became Facebook friends. And I saw her name written out on Facebook, and I said, "What? What? Uh, <laughs> that's, what did you say your name was?" And then I realized there's a whole s slew of very interesting, very yeah. different Irish names. Um, yeah. Anyway, so when, when, when you look at the name, it doesn't look like the way it's spelled. It's like Niham. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 So I had to ask her again. I was like, did I hear your name wrong when we first met? Oh, no. OK. Um, it's just different. <laughs> you say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So first of all, um, <laughs> we'll say hello to Shy. I'm still trying to get rid of Nulug, but it's fine. So Shy, how's it going? Uh, Shy, hi. Shy time is my time. Say hi to Shy. Hi, Shy. Hey, Nolig. Say bye, Shy. Bye, Shy. Say, see you later. Bye, bye, Come back and say goodbye to them. You're so unprofessional. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> say bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. Say smell you later. Bye. Smell you later. Shy, how's it going, dude? I didn't even know you were there. I'm okay, it's only been 25 minutes. Were you really there 25 minutes? Yeah. I did I'll that. See how I can go. <laughs> no, do you know what happens when you have a lot of uh, guests? The, the, the kind of next person is down um, under the three other four windows. So I've chat away for ages until someone basically yeah, fought, shoots a firework at me. made it sound like he's so much more unimportant. Please, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He was so okay. low on the radar, we didn't see you. <laughs> Sorry, right? Very shy. Yeah, way under my okay. radar, shy. If, 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 I do. I, Last week, myself and um, Chris were in the green room after the stream chatting away, and Shy popped in, and then I was like, oh, my God, what if he was there, like, for the last 25 minutes? I was so I actually was. <laughs> Jack, we're normally professional. You're, ru you're ruining everything, Shy. Okay, okay, so introductions. Shy, this is Jack. Jack, this is Shy. Hey. Hi, Shy. How's it going? Good, man, good. Just first, I think you, first stream you may, is great. Oh, you may perfect. have been in this, living in the same area at one stage. Cali yeah. represent? Yeah, man. I'm in LA. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. I'm, I was in Orange County for a year. That's the closest I got. Um, but yeah, cool, man. Um, how's it going, Shy? How have you been? Oh, I'm back at work now. <laughs> I was chilling for a little bit and then I had to like start working again. <laughs> no, ditch work. You said some Thursday, just ditch work and don't come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't, no, come on here, but don't go on to work. Um, do you really do you have to go right now? No, no, I'm, I'm working from home, so it's all good. Oh, that's okay. That's I'm just okay. not looking at you. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, it looks like you're working from home as well, Shire. Yeah, I'm loving it. And <laughs> <laughs> um, what have you been up to? Uh, work. <laughs> have you I haven't been... really been doing much content lately just because I've been swamped at work. Um, Jack has to go soon as well. Yeah. What do you what kind of, do you have to go soon or now, Jack? Um, I mean, I, I. It's one of those things where it's like the longer I stay here, the later I go back home. Uh, and at a certain point when you're script writing, you're like, oh, I'm just too tired to finish it. I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> no. so, so, yeah, I think I do have to I do have to skedaddle pretty soon. Just um, knocking out some mock video scripts and doing some final shots for tomorrow's video. Um, How long does it take you to do a script? 
depends on how much I already know about something that I'm working on. So for example, this thing, I'm not, a, I don't know much about One Piece. I've watched several episodes now and I've done a bit of research on this. Um, but it, in the beginning, I didn't know. So it's like, okay, how many cannons does it got? What type of animal is the figurehead? What type of tree is that on the back of this? You have to like, if you're not familiar with the universe, uh, uh, it can take a little bit more time. Uh, but I would say maybe just a couple hours, maybe two hours to like really write out something that I'm happy with, I think. Do you script word for word or do you bullet point and then freestyle? Um, sometimes freestyle. I'll word for word it and then other times I'll bullet point it and then other times I'll really script it out and then skip it as I'm talking. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, Shai, do you script your stuff? Nope. Never? Nope. Wow, that's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. yeah. Um, Danny, if I have to, like the history stuff, when I do history stuff, I bullet point, and then yeah. I just talk. But aside from that, it's just making sure I have, like, correct facts for, like, the military stuff. But, yeah. like, um, for the most part, it's all, it's all free. Don't want to make any mistakes for the military folks watching. They'll nope. correct you pretty quick. Yes, they will. <laughs> Jack, are you familiar? Jack, are you familiar with any of Shy's um, videos? And uh, and if not, Shy can tell you. Yeah, Shy, okay. why don't you? Why don't you? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you're uh, up to. Ten. I haven't done anything in the past week and a half. No, but ba basically, Shy, you're you're kind of well known for your for your Lego content. But your Lego content is Lego, but it is in a, you know your favorite type is military. But who is who are the people who make the military Lego that you buy? Oh yeah, so I'm I'm pretty much the residential brick mania brick veteran um, military or third party Lego uh, tuber, I guess you would say. Uh, Ominous Dominus. I'm kind of trying to get myself out of that, but I'm stuck in it. But like, that's pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> oh, cool. So are you, wait, so sorry, let me um, clarify. Are you doing design work for like Brick Mania? No, 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 doing no. I just review their stuff. Yeah, yeah okay, I, I okay, review okay. all their stuff. Um, cool. Just because I guess, I guess being a veteran too gives like some validation to what I say about their stuff, um, especially when I'm critiquing or looking for accuracy and things like that. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. It has been interesting seeing feedback from the military uh, community. When <laughs> Sorry. We the Navy stuff. No, 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 no. Like, we do a lot of historical stuff. So it's usually like old folks that are like, I served on a, or my grandfather served on a Fletcher or something like that. Yeah. Nostalgia uh, works very well with like the military side. Yeah. Um, you just do your best to be as accurate as you can. <laughs> Yeah. they will they will depict like oh every, my gosh. every I got, error i got torn apart once at a bar for from this guy because <laughs> i thought a chinook helicopter was like the same as like the navy equivalent of like another double bladed helicopter nope <laughs> and he was we, it was such a friendly conversation and i just i don't know like i just blurted out an inaccurate and he his tone changed very quickly. Like he was like, "That's not the wow. same helicopter." I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's all yeah. good. We're very we're very uh, tight with. Uh, <laughs> just if you don't if you're unsure, just don't say it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny because it was also crossing Navy and Army. Mm -hmm. Like he's like, "That's not used by the Navy," and I go, "Oh." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I. Uh, I apologize for my veteran brethren. <laughs> no, it's great. No, uh, you know, at a certain point, there's there's a lot of passion and dedication to it being the right way, and you can respect that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting coming into it from the outside, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for um, when you have civilian designers trying to make a military aircraft, because I already know if they don't get it right the first time, they will get destroyed. <laughs> I, just, I mean... Like, just the way it is, man. That's just, just how it is. is. And it's, <laughs> it, can, it can be a little toxic sometimes, um, but it's just, um, I think I think mainly it's because when you do, because Lego doesn't do military at all. And when you do a military set, especially if it's Lego, you bring in two different types of, like you make a, 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 vi a machine made for violence and you turn it into some sort of childhood innocent thing that every veteran could appreciate. I, I was kind of 
not trying to make that a negative thing. Like it, it, it brings back like great memories, both as a child and as you're, when you're serving. So it brings two things together mm-hmm. that it, it, when you have something that's like not supposed to be done, but it's done for like for the love of the, of, of the vehicle or the art or whatever it is, the nostalgia level goes up tenfold as opposed to everyone building a like Nintendo or like, you know, an old castle set. Like this is something like for me, if you were to build like this specific, like if you build an M triple seven howitzer cannon and a MTVR, like Oshkosh truck, like I lived on that thing for like nine months. So like, I know every nook and cranny about those things. So like those things have taken out people's lives, let alone saved mine. So like, I will know everything about it. And when you were to put something like that in front of me, you bring out some sort of like memory in my, and I was trying to, trying to be like as, as um, censored as possible. Bring, you, bring, you bring out a memory that just makes me feel at home when I wasn't at home. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I gotcha. Yeah, that's yeah, a good so, way to put it actually. So when, when you have veterans, when you talk to veterans about like things that they've done or worked with, um, it, it it does hit a hair as far as our attention. And when you miss, we will tell you, you missed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, do Brick Mania only do US um, military or do they do British no. or Italian or French? Really? Okay. That's cool. They do everybody. Late, I think next month is more spec ops modern but they're kind of venturing out to other uh special operation type of minifigures and vehicles from other countries like germany um i know they're working they're doing something with france i don't know they're they're, they're building all over the place but the things with their modern stuff they got to be a little bit more careful because they have to get licensed for their uh, vehicles sure, the older stuff yeah the older yeah stuff. so well, like the newer sorry the newer stuff have to be licensed the older stuff are fell out like sherman tanks so you can sure. do that all day but yeah. like if you look at like this for example the m1 abrams which is uh, our uh, main battle tank for the United States. They can't just put that. <laughs> they have to get a license from the company. Like all their vehicles, like the F-22 Raptor, they have to go through, um, you know, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Some sort of probably IP process, isn't it? And all that lot. Uh, Sikorsky, they got to go through like all those like military companies and um, the military companies are more than welcome to do it. It's not that the, the royalties off these things do not even compare <laughs> to the amount of money they get from the federal government. But like <laughs> they they like it so much and they welcome it so much. They want Brickmania to make this in mass, but they can't because mm-hmm. their operations don't allow them to do that since they sort by hand. So when you start getting to more modern things from around the world, especially if it's not the United States, it's not so easy for Brickmania to get a license for that from that company, especially if they're not you know, American. Americans are a little bit more easy. It's just that the only dangerous part about it is that there's a fine line about the information that they can grab since Brickmania really focuses on um, accuracy, that they request like blueprints and things like that to get the correct scale to the to the rest of their sets because they build in 135th scale, all of them. So they pretty much get a blueprint of the vehicle, they shrink it down to that scale and they build the set around that so that way it's as close to accurate as possible in accordance to a minifigure. Um, but when you're... Sp- when you're doing modern vehicles, a lot of that's top secret. Okay. So they can't <laughs> give you the blueprints. Uh, uh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have they can be like, no, this is a matter of national security. I can't show you this one specific, wow. uh, like uh, this radio. You can't see this radio. That's yeah, imagine radio. if that top yeah. secrets ended up escaping. Imagine if yeah. that was the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could get like mili- military kind of intelligence now. It can be just like we're, we're look at Brickmania, look at what they're doing, and we'll, we'll use those blueprints. And uh, you know, well, then, but then they get hounded for it later when the fans are like, "Hey, what happened to this console?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. When they're like, "Oh, we didn't know about it because we weren't given the blueprints for it." Blah 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 blah. Shut shy, shy. We, we, without glorifying it. One of, my, one of my favorite kind of squads in the British Army is the SAS. Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> and they are, they're just geezers. Do you know what I mean? They, yeah, they, 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 they can handle themselves. I've shot, I've called for fire for SAS in Afghanistan. Really? really? I didn't know they were SAS until they, they their call sign came back. And I was like, I, I was looking them up who they were in the chat. And I'm like, oh, that's SAS. <laughs> wow. So you, you were going to. Um, kind of finish them if if i don't know how to say it on the live stream but you you thought they were the enemy no 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 call for fire so what i did my unit was artillery so um when we invaded afghanistan in the helmand province like we 
I was living, uh, we invaded with the uh, second LAR, which is um, light armored reconnaissance vehicle. <laughs> He's got a Lego set to uh, <laughs> to, get, to help illustrate. While yeah. while Shai's going for a second, <laughs> these story. guys. Oh, he's back. Oh. So oh, these guys. Right. I'm so, gonna make that big. Hang on a sec. Yeah. So these guys went. Oh, sorry. These yep. guys went south into um, yep, the yep, deepest yep. part of of, Gan of the Helmand Province in Afghanistan towards Pakistan because it was the last remaining stronghold of the uh, Taliban before well recent days and. We kind of gave everything back to them, which kind of pissed me off. That aside, <laughs> um, so we shot fire. We called for fire for those guys. So whenever they move, we move with them, and then we set up our cannons and they push forward and we fire for them when they need it. And then when we were just stagnant, we just pointed our our guns like in a fan, so any unit that's in the area they can call for fire if they needed it. And um, I didn't know STS was in the area. Nobody tells us. Obviously, they're spec ops. We don't know that they're there. Um, <laughs> but like someone came down the line with a call sign i had no idea who they were <laughs> so i had to verify uh and then yeah it came down it came back down to me that they were sas and i was That's like oh fascinating. it would have been yeah. nice to know that these guys were operating the area <laughs> so we didn't accidentally <laughs> shoot them <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing they're so secretive that's the thing like yeah. they, they they're there for a particular operation and that's it really no one else really knows yeah what's going I, on. I, we, we don't know why they're in our ao um and that kind of pissed everybody off because uh like for artillery we have to know where you are because the last thing we need to do is hit you because yeah. uh, one of our rounds it's uh has a a kill radius of 50 yards so if you're in if 50 yards you're gonna get hurt really bad or die if you're within 100 yeah. yards you might get hurt so it's danger close if it's 600 yards from you so if we don't know where the units are in the in the playing field then yeah <laughs> we hurt if we hit you that's that's your fault but yeah like, are you yeah. allowed to ask him do you say guys what what are you doing here like no. what's going down <laughs> you can't ask that was beyond my pig rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you yeah. could ask i don't know if they tell you uh exactly. no. yeah you're gonna need no. to know bases with the sas and, and you I don't need to know I, we could i speculated to why um yeah. but i was never it was never confirmed um we had a we had a high value target in the area that we were having trouble getting um so they were i guess they had the yeah. accessibility it, to be able to come it, the other way make it sound like the, the, you're trying to hunt down some gift we purchased from lego that no one can get <laughs> <laughs> it's extreme lego gift we purchased time i i think they came through pakistan i think that's why it was uh we didn't know and we were like because we were the first we're the southernmost unit so we know everybody that's coming from up north so yeah. when they came up that way we're like who are you <laughs> yeah and then, yeah yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, right, it's tough. I'm, I'm going to run through the, the list of people who dropped in, if you don't mind, just for a second, Greg. Drunk, Drunk Lily dropped in. Uh, hey, Drunk Lily. Um, E.T. since life. Um, I've got a slight echo again. Haven't had you for a while. Sometimes you mute, it goes away. Jonah had a question, actually. Um, um, wants to know, is the ship available to buy, Jack? Oh, that's going to be uh, tomorrow. It'll be ready to rack. So how can that person, how can Jonah find out? If you look at Brick Vault tomorrow, the video should be up. Is that right? Yeah, it'll be up at around noontime tomorrow, maybe a little earlier. Um, and usually I launch the, the model itself like an hour before, like on the web store, but something like that. That sounds good. Perfect. Uh, 80s is life is saying hello to everybody. Hey, 80s. Um, I saw someone else. Tim Banbridge was in. Uh, wants to know the shy like Kobe. Nope. He's either on mute or he's having a stroke. He's, he's grabbing his there Kobe. Go. There we go. Here's a Kobe set. Now, I'm not hey. a Kobe fan. I leave that to Cabbage and Solo. But since everybody asked, I will do a com I am working on a comparison video between a Kobe Spitfire and a Brick Mania Spitfire. So Lego slash Brick Mania versus Kobe. Great so idea. that way everyone get off my case on that. That is a good <laughs> idea. Idea, good idea. Um, and Studsidious is here um, saying the one sad thing about all my military friends uh, from. Hey, Sidious. Okay, yes. Yeah, so there's some stuff I won't read out there, but you can read it in the chat. Um, <laughs> and so, okay, guys, it is 10 past 10. I told Jack that we would be. Um, I didn't think Jack would stay this long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, and I've been having a good time. Uh, uh, 
uh, yeah, but I probably should be jumping off. Well, we're going to wind it down now anyway, uh, because it's it's really warm and my fan, and you've got a new fan and it's blowing around hot air on me now. I'm I'm not crying, by the way. I've got allergies and my eyes streaking down here. If I was wearing wearing makeup, I'd have like mascara everywhere. I told Um, you, you need to wear a hairband. Yeah, like John McEnroe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greg, do you want to tell everyone what's coming up on your channel for the week? Uh, London Calling Tomorrow, folks. Uh, one of my favourite live streams that I do uh, in during the week. So tomorrow's going to be uh, London Calling. I've got to go people on tomorrow from Twitch, from Instagram. It's going to be quite uh, an eclectic one tomorrow. Uh, and then, of course, and then the week after that, next Friday, you're going to be doing a, a Ninjago theme stream so i'm looking forward to doing that but obviously um i think over the course of the weekend i think next week actually because I, I was on holiday recently site and i went up north into liverpool uh famous for the beatles of course so i think i might come out with a video on me doing that a vlog I, i'm into my vlogs at the moment I'm, I'm trying to sort of find where i kind of how i want them to be in the style uh, so that's going to be quite interesting. I might do another, I might do a short actually as well. I'm trying to do something along the lines of just different things. Like I was in the beach last week and I built a Lego set on the beach. That was weird. Um, <laughs> but it was good. It was kind of fun to do. It was kind of quick and easy. I couldn't see what I was filming because it was so bright. I couldn't see anything. But you know what? Considering I didn't know what the camera was quite looking at, it came out all right. It was okay um this week's side the uh, my latest video my latest vlogs come out as well for the uh, the cabin uh week three of the cabin and funny enough on Saturday good. morning yeah cheers cheers shy I, I haven't got back to you yet on your comments no, so no worries i don't expect a response ever <laughs> oh no, no no i always do it's it, um I, I just i basically i got home late from work today uh because the, the trains were up the spout they were um i just haven't had a chance to get back to anyone but no um and then but so that was this week and then on saturday i'm gonna do an odd stream actually i'm gonna do um we've got blocks magazine i've kind of run out of time to film it i thought you know what i've never seen anyone do it before but i'm gonna do a live stream going through the magazine and just talk to people in the chat you know what i mean it's just gonna be an hour and a half or whatever of discussing the articles in this month's block magazine and that'll be on saturday at 6 p.m uk time 1 p.m est usa time and in a nutshell side that's me for the next week or so sounds awesome my friends um jack i know we've uh, discussed what is coming up on yours now and then but um at this time of the stream when we're winding up we usually let everybody plug their own channel and tell everybody what's coming up so do you want to tell everybody what's coming up on your channel in the next week or so uh sure well i'm jack from brick vault i know i didn't put my thing in the in the in the title i probably should have done that maybe next time um but uh yeah so we've actually got a lot of complete or very close to complete models in the pipeline but we like to do just once a week in terms of our um launches just because it's a lot to try to to try to do multiple models in a single week i think we did that a while back but um yeah so tomorrow we're gonna have our one piece ship and it is, it's designed so well. Uh, the designer really, really did a super, super job on it. Um, the Republic gunship the people are waiting on is most likely going to be next week. There is a chance it could get pushed. We're still tweaking it. There's three different sets of models for that. So uh, there's a lot of little details that we have to knock out for the slightly different variations. So that takes, that takes the little things at the very end take actually quite a lot of time to just iron out um yeah other than that we do our weekly news on saturdays uh we do our weekly top 10 mocks on tuesdays wednesday this last week but usually tuesdays um and that's it custom builds news and uh that's what we do um pretty cool man Exactly. If you are new to hearing about Brick Vault um, and Jack, um, they've got amazing videos. Uh, they've got some really good playlists. Uh, they do um, collection videos of minifigures. So they've got everything from every Jedi. They've got every um, SpongeBob. They have every Batman. So they've got everyone. You like Lego? They've got some minifigures for you. <laughs> Shy, what is on your channel for the next week? Uh... <laughs> 
I haven't really been prepping anything lately, but I do have, aside from Cali Brick Click, which is obviously, well, it's on its own channel now. Um, I do have a video that's in the works. I hope, I hope it's done by tomorrow because it is Friday. I'm going to be talking about kind of just vamping off of what we discussed last episode of Cali Brick Click, which is, um, I'm tired. I think it's time that Lego pretty much uh, stops with the yellow skin tone. <laughs> So that's what the video is going to be on and on how to incorporate other skin tones um, into the Lego inventory. It's just yeah. a quick minute video. It's just uh, why I find I that important. Good subject, Shia. Mm -hmm. I think that's a thought provoking subject and yeah. Calibrick Click really is a thought provoking podcast actually. And I say that folks, and I was on it once a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. Uh, and it went, it went way deeper. We talk about all sorts of things um but it's an interesting one you, you know we, we, you go off in branches and you hone it back in again but i tell you what i will say just talking about skin tones and stuff like that uh the skin tone for the new boba fett set uh looks really good for, for boba fett he look he is perfect he really is looks good is he chubby yeah. enough though is he chubby <laughs> enough <laughs> Not as chubby as us, probably, so I... Yeah, well, that's, we've got a lot of COVID pounds on, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which are much heavier than myself. normal pounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sounds awesome, Shy. Um, Calibre Click, it comes out usually on a Friday. Um, and what time-ish? Uh, you can listen to it whenever every episode is pretty much... It comes out at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Um, but, you know, people tend to watch it whenever they can or listen to it. It does really well on the podcast platforms outside from YouTube. Way more better. Like, way better. <laughs> so check those out wherever you listen to your podcast. I was going to say that. Well done. Good fella. Thank you. <laughs> Lego Danny Bob. Miss Danny, tell us what's going on in your channel. I know we plugged a little bit of it. You can plug it again. Go for it and tell everyone what who may have arrived in the last while, like Sir Bricks, and what is going on in your channel. Certainly. <laughs> yes. So Mock Contest is going on now until August 14th. Go ahead and check out my Danny Bob 500 mock contest video for all the details just put your video on youtube with hashtag danny bob 500 and i'll find it and you will be entered a couple of other things on there so make sure you check out the video for all the instructions uh videos are coming out tuesdays and thursdays i've actually got um a video coming out saturday which is kind of similar to something that brick vault would do with all sets by movie and, sh and show for star wars so i'll be on my sixth episode for all the uh star wars sets ever created I think uh, most videos out there are by year. So I decided to do videos by movie because then you get to see all the iterations of say the X-Wing or the land speeder or, you know, the slave one. So um, yeah, the episode six, all sets video will be coming out on Saturday and then uh, live streams on Sunday. So live stream will be at 3 PM. I'm going to do a poll on Instagram if we should build the new Disney ice castle or Ooh. another Harry Potter set. So I've got the Ice Castle over there, and I think that's probably going to win, but just in case somebody uh, wanted to, you know, have fun with some other sets, and we'll see what happens. So that is everything that is coming up. Uh, excited for the live stream on Sunday. You're all busy, people. That sounds awesome, Dan. <laughs> um, that is really cool. Greg has put in the chat there um, the link to um, Cali Bricklick, so check it out. Um, Thanks. It's pretty cool. Appreciate it. Um, so what's coming up from me from me I will be doing the Q&A video which is a bit overdue that'll be out on Saturday and um, tomorrow I'll be on with Greg on London Bridge Bricks which is awesome that'll be on at 7.30 GMT which is 3.30 EST if you're in America um, uh, next week we've got the backlog that's on Greg's channel that is 8 p.m. GMT, which is 3 p.m. EST. I'm getting better at this, Greg. And next Thursday, we'll be back here. <laughs> next Thursday, we'll be back here. Um, not too sure who's on next week. I think on the the guest I have worked out should be coming on for my, my slot on the 72-hour live stream. Just happens to be Brick Queen, one of the OG um, YouTubers. So hopefully Brick Queen will be able to... Um, come on that day we were working it out and um, i think that'll be pretty interesting to have her on we have a few other fun guests on as well so put that in your calendar and um yeah so thank you everybody for joining today and um, it's been an absolute blast and um, we've got millions of people who are here so we have bricks issue we flew a brick 
abs bricks barefoot on bricks a lot of brick people pj brick uh, <laughs> and we had galaxy ace brett bills uh we had skeletor studios brick uh buzz brick here london bridge bricks was saying hello to everybody we had 80s is life mark we had delicious foods we had cabbage face um bricks in Bainbridge, we had open build repeat. We had solo brick builder on the panel with us, with his feet in a paddling pool. Yeah, where would you get that? <laughs> uh, Lorraine Fox and um, uh, Galaxy Ace, so many people. And um, Gary from Limerick, and um, anyone I missed, um, I am sorry, but it the, the, the chat goes up and up and up. And um, it is sometimes a little bit hard to find out where you have gone. Um, I just want to say thank you to the people who gave Super Chats. If you give me a second, I'll be able to remember everyone who's here, but the internet's a bit slow, so I'm trying to get into studio to find it. And um, yeah, giving away all the secrets. Um, so Greg, Greg, fill in for a second if you can. Um, well, I, I, I've i got a question for Jack very quickly. Jack, yeah, if you sure. had two minifigures, that you were bringing out with a gunship, which two would you have brought out with the gunship? Oh, uh, obviously, the <laughs> answer. wrong answer. Faces light up. It's answer all wrong answer. Go on now. We want to talk about this. Well, no, obviously you have to have a. The funny thing is, is if this wasn't a fan vote set, Lego yeah. would have treated no pilot as a mistake. That's what mm. I feel. Yeah. I mean, I, I was thinking about this the other day because the uh, the um, remember when the the bomber for. Um, Last Jedi came out, and then they released yeah. a pilot that was inaccurate yeah. months later. I mean, that's how on the ball they were trying to be back then. They're like, hey, you yeah. know what? This character from this thing was not there. And it, that was a specific type of pilot. Like, they actually got the guy wrong. And now they're like, hey, let's release a set that is a, a ship that requires a pilot and have it be the first time we've ever released a ship that requires a pilot that doesn't come with a pilot. That's just weird. It's just weird yeah. that they didn't do that. But because they kind of, it was this voted on open-ended thing, there was a little bit of looseness to it. So, um, and the, as a second figure, honestly, I don't have much of a, I mean, another, just a character that was there that I think, you know, is appropriate. I don't, I don't, I'm not really against Mace Windu actually being in the set, but the fact that there wasn't a pilot is just strange. That's all I can say. Yeah. Um, did, did, did we buy you enough time there, Sai? Absolutely, yes. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, I, I I couldn't I couldn't get into studios. So basically, um, we've got Skeletor Studios. I think that was the donation that I um, and Mark was from last night, as far as I remember. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Greg and Jack, for filling in the time. Your 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 pros, Hi. total pros. Uh, goodbye, everybody in the chat. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. See you in London calling tomorrow.